Last week at Lamar, five sacks. Yeah, they lost last week to the Lamar Cardinals, 38 zip, but a big kid, 6'5", 210 pounds, as you mentioned, from South Falls at high school out in the Cypress area. He's moved around a bit in his college career, but it appears he's found a home in Lincoln, California. The star of TSU the last few seasons, no doubt Andrew Bott the quarterback, but he has been out with injury in his place, has been Jace Wilson, and Kenny's done pretty well. The transfer from Furman last week in a loss to Grambling State, three touchdowns and no picks. Well, Coach McKinney says he's improved each and every week. Last week against Grambling, he passed for 153 yards and three touchdowns. He has a deep throwing arm, strong, accurate, reach the defense as well, but he's got to get some help from his wide receivers holding on to the football. It's Wilson against Goodwin. The Tigers against the Oaklanders will have kickoff from Houston, Texas after the break. The sound of ice hitting heavy duty plastic. But for us, it's the signal calling us back to the light. And to Greg's house, because he just got a new grill. Connecting to Hot Jams Playlist. Welcome back, Bud Light legends. It's time to take summer by the coolers. Hello, Tiger Nation. This is Kevin Bridge. I would like to personally invite you to come out and join the newly established TSU Athletic Directors Legends Club. Members of the TSU AD Legends Club will receive TSU Athletic Apparel, a championship ring from a select sport when applicable, season tickets for football, basketball, and the TSU relays. Special recognition at a home athletic event and much more. To join or for more information, visit TSUsports.com or call 713-313-4355. And as always, go Tigers. A beautiful afternoon. Still feels like summer. Technically, the early days of fall, but that first fall day is just a few days away. And for TSU, a few near misses. 89 degrees and mostly cloudy, but perfect conditions for a homecoming weekend in Space City. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, um, the big story over at Texas Southern this week, quarterback Andrew Body announced on social media this week that he will take a medical red shirt year. Of course, he got injured in the Alabama A&M game at the end of the 2022 season. Had a great performance in game one against Prairie View in the opener in the Labor Day Classic. Re-injured that shoulder. Took the next three, uh, three weeks off. Him and his family in consulting with medical personnel and different doctors have come to the conclusion that he will take a medical red shirt this year. If you look at his numbers, really high regarded preseason all swag quarterback, a guy that went really neck and neck last season with Shadur Sanders as one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. We wish him well in his recovery this offseason. But as we talked about, Jace Wilson has stepped in well in his place. Yeah, the numbers are good. I think for a young quarterback like Jace Wilson, inexperienced, but only one interception thrown in his first three games. And this is a guy that two years ago, all freshmen in the Southern Conference while at Furman. So he has some success at the college level and now trying to get his team over the hump as they try to play a full four quarters. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a kid that Coach Clarence McKinney has known since he was a kid. Coach McKinney and Wilson's mom went to high school together, so they know each other very well. And Coach McKinney told us the story that she told him, you better recruit my son. He did recruit him, but Wilson chose to go to Furman. Things didn't work out. Called Coach McKinney said, hey, I want to come back home. And now he's a Texas Southern Tiger. 
And now to our keys of the game, presented by Ken Moore, the former Texas running back. Yeah, you look at the keys to the game. For Lincoln, they want to limit the big plays. They don't want to let TSU to get out early. They want to force them to drive down the field. And also for Lincoln, they want to run the football. They have a big, strong running back in Otis Way. Last week he had 52 yards on the ground, so they want to control the line of scrimmage and try to shorten this ball game. And your keys to the game for TSU. And for TSU, they want to win the turnover battle. So far this season, the Tigers are negative five in turnover differential. That is one area they want to improve upon. And they also want to minimize penalties. They've had some big penalties. They've averaged 74 yards per game in penalties so far this season. That's something they want to clean up as they get into the rest of the SWAC schedule after this week. We talk with Coach McKinney. He's always a pleasure to talk to as we see the on-field ceremonies. And he said the guys are still practicing hard. They're not practicing like an 0-4 team that's quick. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they haven't lost confidence. They were a little down after the Prairie View game. They had a, a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter in that opener. And that loss really took a lot of wind out of their sails. Then they had a couple of FBS opponents in Rice and Toledo where they were just physically overmatched in those games. Played very well last week against Grambling. Had an opportunity to win that ball game. Had a couple of critical drops in key situations that led to Grambling coming out with the victory. Lincoln University based in Oakland, California. The third year of playing football and independent. They play all their games away from home. They were the homecoming opponent last year for TSU. A 37-2 Tigers win. head coach Desmond Gums. Gums was a high school coach in the Bay Area in California and took over this program and Coach McKinney says this team is much improved from the ball club that they had last year and he also said that if this team was playing in the SWAT that they would be one of the teams that competes each and every week with the best teams in the SWAT. Desmond Gum, one of his previous stops was Oakland High School. Again, last year, right around this time, homecoming, the only points for Lamar, for uh, Lincoln was a safety on a bad snap and a punt for TSU. They dominated. Could have been more lopsided. They had a few turnovers in the red zone. But a breakout game for TSU and looking for more of the same. But based off of our conversation for with Coach McKinney, he believes that Lincoln is much improved from last year. So don't be fooled by that scoreline from last year. Yeah, absolutely. It's a team that, again, they have a good quarterback. They have a good running game. They want to control the line of scrimmage. And they want to keep this tight as long as they can. Looks like TSU will receive the opening kick. They are in their home maroon jerseys, decked out in all maroon today on homecoming. Another stop for Coach Gums was Stellar Prep High School in Hayward uh, near Oakland. So an opportunity to build something from scratch. Not easy playing all your games away from home. No, absolutely not. I mean, they're still building their stadium. Um, at their new college out in Oakland. So all of their games are on the road, and those are some long road trips from California. Last week they traveled to Houston to take on Lamar down in Beaumont, another trip to H-Town this week. They'll go to Baton Rouge to play Southern in a couple of weeks, so they're definitely accumulating the frequent flyer miles. The body is still out. Out for the season, over 4,000 career passing yards. We've affectionately called him Big Play Body. But now it needs to be Big Play Jace Wilson as he continues to lead the line. Here we go on TSU homecoming. The return comes from the 12-yard line. Nice work up the right flank. And a good field position to start for Texas Southern. Looks like that was Trenton Leary on the return, sophomore out of LBJ High School in Austin, Texas. Jace Wilson will lead the offense out. 
We saw the numbers last week. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. 14 for 24 passing. Several drops hurt his numbers and hurt TSU. Yeah, it was a big opportunity for the Tigers to come away with a victory. And again, two tough losses in swag play. But as Coach McKinney said, time to hit the reset button. Win homecoming today against Lincoln. First play from scrimmage for TSU. Wilson out to the right. Short gain. Uh, the catch by Jiren Johnson, the redshirt sophomore of Sorrento, Louisiana, East Ascension High School. Texas Southern on the season, averaging 295 yards per game total offense. From the shotgun, it's Wilson. Clean pocket, he'll step up, and he'll run. Nice gain for Wilson. He hasn't run too often this season. 25 carries for 40 total yards. It's a first down pickup on second down. Yeah, you look see him. Take a look downfield to his right. Saw no one open. Big hole in the middle of the field. No Oaklanders there, and he just takes off and scampers across midfield. Picks up the first down for the Tigers. Fakes it to the right, hands off to the left. Nice pickup up this left sideline, rumbling past the 30-yard line. A flag comes in. He's into the end zone. We'll see what this flag is for. Perhaps an illegal block. Well, Darius Owens around that left side took it to the house, but it may be coming back. TSU has a tremendous one-two punch. Talk about Ladarius Owens as well as Ja'Cory Howard. Coach calls them thunder and lightning in the backfield. So it was a little shade on that touchdown run, so it's going to bring it back. Fisher's going to mark it at the 35, it appears, of Lincoln. The hole negates the would-be touchdown. Chase Wilson from the shotgun, 5 foot 11. That's one of the few things that Coach McKinney could quibble out his size as he throws out to the left, and it's incomplete. But he said a 5 foot 11 quarterback was taking number one just a couple of years ago, Kyler Murray. <laughs> so the, the old days that you had to be 6'4", six, 6'5", six, is kind of a, a bygone notion now. Yeah, as long as you're accurate, you can read defenses and be a team leader. Uh, you can definitely play that quarterback position. A little inaccurate on that throw to the outside by Wilson. First drive of the first quarter. Good handoff up this right side. Pickup of three or four as he rolls forward. Uh, Darius Owens went to Manville High School, a powerhouse in the Houston area. 5'9", senior running back. Yeah, Owens on the season. Averaging over five yards per carry, 265 yards, has one touchdown here in 2023. Thought he had his second a moment ago, but it was called back. Yeah, his best game was against Prairie View AM week one, 104 yards on eight carries and that 77 yard touchdown run. Good throw off to the left. He breaks the tackle. He has a first down. He's inside the 20. He spins near the sideline. Good pick up there from Jiren Johnson. His second catch of this first series. Yeah, Johnson, the leading receiver so far for TSU as they go hurry up now to try to catch Lincoln in their substitution. Jace Wilson lobbing it towards the end zone. A little push off. Incomplete. Could have been offensive pass interference. A flag does come out. Offside against the defense. A free play for TSU. Remains first down. Yeah, very smart by Chase Wilson and the offense. They saw Lincoln trying to bring in their substitution package. They went hurry up, caught him offside, picks up a free five yards. Chase Wilson from the shotgun. First and five from... Around the 14-yard line. Fake of a handoff. He's flushed to the left. He throws it away. Smart play. Good pressure there. Really the first pressure of the drive for Lincoln. 
as it comes from Sylvester Ware the fourth, the six-three defensive lineman for Milwaukee. Yeah, good pressure on the outside. Looked like a little good coverage in the secondary as well by Lincoln as there were no receivers open downfield. Chase was looking to his left, had nowhere to go, just threw it away. Now a handoff to the left. Good pockets. And he will run into the end zone. Excellent carry. Touchdown, Tigers. That's Ladarius Owens, his second touchdown of the season. So the first touchdown by Ladarius was called back because of a penalty. This time he takes it over to the left side. Great job by that offensive line as he just rumbles untouched into the end zone as the Tigers take the early lead. That's uh, something that TSU wants to do today. They know that they can dominate on the ground with their big offensive line against the smaller defensive front of Lincoln. What they want to work on, though, is that passing game and try to develop it to make sure they're on point going into the rest of the SWAC schedule. PAT up and through from Curtis Falkenberg, the junior at Clearburg High School in Houston. A good start for TSU on this homecoming day. A touchdown. On the first series, early first quarter in Houston, 7 nothing Tigers. What does the future of strength look like? It's a personal trainer that assesses your strength and adds weight as you progress. It's dynamic weight that adjusts for you in real time for a more efficient workout. Come on! And it's a roster of coaches that motivates you to get stronger faster. The future is strength you can feel and results you can see. And you can only experience it on Tonal. Sometimes men's problems can be hard to hide. I just picked up a golf tip that completely changed my game. I just learned I'm losing my hair. I think I'm depressed. I have ED! At Hims, you don't have to hide. You can connect with medical professionals who create personalized treatments for ED, hair loss, mental health, and more. Going up. Get started today at Hims.com. How white do you think your teeth really are? Let's try the tissue test. Ugh, still yellow. Obviously, whitening toothpaste can only do so much. That's because there's toothpaste white and there's Crest 3D White Strips white. Whitening toothpaste only works on the surface, but Crest 3D White Strips safely work below the enamel surface, whitening like a $400 professional treatment. So much whiter. The number one teeth whitening brand in America, Crest. And try Crest Whitening Emulsions for daily whitening with virtually no sensitivity. Welcome back to Gurley Stadium. 7 nothing Tigers. A 14-yard touchdown run from Adarius Owens. The Mandel High School products. We take another look. Yeah, you see a great job on the outside. Aiden Hip Hill, 58. The left tackle with the big block. Gets him into the end zone. Aiden Hip Hill, one of the best offensive linemen in the swag. And Coach talked about him. He's the captain. He's the blindside protector. And he's the leading blocker for this dynamic duo of running backs for Texas Southern. There's a kickoff from TSU. Now Lincoln return comes from about the eight-yard line. Nice pickup past the 25. And the return from Kashawn Berry, the Los Angeles native. A first series for Lincoln. Again, they play just down the road about 95 miles to the east in Beaumont, Texas against Lamar last weekend. Shut out against the Cardinals. Their quarterback went to Sci Falls High School, just northwest of Houston. From there, stops at Trinity Valley Community College, UTEP, and Mississippi Valley State. Finally at Lincoln University, leading the Oaklanders offense. Here he is from the shotgun on first down. And a false start. And this is the frustration for... Lincoln, we saw this a lot last year in homecoming. But these procedural penalties right out of the gates really sets them back and puts them in these disadvantaged down and distance situations. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get behind the chains against this Texas Southern defense. They run the run where they want to run the football, and you don't want to do it out of first and fifteen. Dumps it off to the right. Good coverage out there from TSU. A three-yard pickup. 
What a promising start for the man who was sacked five times. And this team only had 18 yards through the air all of the game against Lamar. So they are still trying to find their footing through the air. And they're going to lean on their big running back, number 26, in the backfield flanked to the left of the quarterback, and that's Otis Way. He's a good receiver out of the backfield, but they like to run it inside with him. Here he is, way on cue for Ken Moore. Pick up a four or five. He's a native of Minneapolis. Third down and 12 now after the false start. Moved them back five yards. Way started his career at North Dakota State, one of the power schools in FCS. And transferred over to Lincoln, where he's found a home with Coach Desmond Gumps. T.J. Goodwin, the quarterback, has two options to his left, takes the high snap, hands it off on third down. Nice pickup up the middle. It's a first down gain from Way. I think Texas Southern expected a pass, and Way is fired up after that first down pickup. Well, Way, watch him inside again. Big, powerful downhill runner. Good job by the offensive line. Finds a gap in the middle of that Texas Southern defense. Picks up the first down across the 40 yard, or near the 40 yard line at the 39. Otis Way last week at Lamar, 13 carries, 52 yards. Or 43 yards, an average of three yards per carry. First down for the Oaklanders from just shy of the 40 yard line. Quarterback keeper that time. He has smashed backward. Good pickup. Defensively there for Texas Southern. They read that option play well. The quarterback keeper. Yeah, watch the big hit coming up from the secondary position. Javius Williams coming up, laying a lick, dropping the quarterback for a loss. You don't want to take too many of those direct hits if you're a good one. Second down from the 39. Lincoln University's first possession of this first quarter. Down 7 0 in Houston. Good win. Hands it off again. Our last week at Lamar, 20 passing attempts, 32 rushing attempts. This is a team that wants to pound the rock even down big. They ran more than they passed last week on Lamar. Third down. There's a throw over the middle, and the incomplete. Nearly a first down catch. Nearly an interception as well. The intended receiver was Kashawn Berry. There's a great break on the football by the safety, Calvin Henderson. You see him there getting a little assistance from Charles George. What a good job by the Texas Southern defense coming up, breaking up that pass play. Fourth down and six. The special teams unit comes on for Texas Southern. Lewis is one of the most exciting return men in the country for TSU. And the punt is away for about the 35-yard line. High, booming punt. It bounces inside the 10, and it goes out around the 2. Wow. Perfect punt from Lincoln. Pins TSU deep. Immediate I mean, that was what you call a coffin corner kick, if you want to go old-school terminology. And a great job getting that one down inside the 2-yard line. So TSU... Is going to be backed up deep on their own end. Steven Ernest with the punt. He's out of Middleton, Ohio. 7 0 Texas Southern. They'll start at the two yard line when we come back to Durley Stadium. This letter is for you. From what I hear, you're supposed to be the next Tom Brady. You are not the next Tom Brady. You're the next you. Compare yourself to nobody but the kid in the mirror. The one who knows that who you are today is just a piece of who you're going to become. Sincerely, Tom. You wrote this. Yeah.
to Ascent Emergency Medical Center. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week to treat adults and kids. A board-certified emergency medicine physician will see you quickly after your arrival. With our state-of-the-art equipment and on-site certified lab, Ascent ER quickly detects medical problems in adults, kids, and pregnant women. Be treated quickly at Ascent Emergency Medical Center, located at Holcomb and Almeida. Second offensive series for GSU and Jace Wilson. They start from their own two after the excellent punt. From the shotgun, looking left, throwing left, and the catch is made just past the 30-yard line. Beautiful throw, and a TSU first down. Great job by the offensive line. Wilson being very patient in the, top, in the pocket. Got his receiver, Leary, deep down the left side. Great job by Leary. Excellent conference as he was straight by a Lincoln defender. And there is a Oaklander down on the field. And, of course, as you mentioned, very warm, about 90 degrees. Still summer-like conditions here in the Houston area. Feels like 95 on the field today. So maybe a lot of players cramping up. TSU has played this game, homecoming game, here at Gurley Stadium since 2019. Decided to bring it back on campus to get that true fan, student environment, atmosphere, great tailgating, good Texas barbecue and turkey legs all throughout the stadium today. So, good times. First down, TSU. Wide open off to this right side. Another big game for the Tigers into Oaklander territory. It's Ladarius Owens who had the 14-yard touchdown run to give the Tigers the lead. Owens oh, not only could do it on the ground but out of the backfield. Just a little wheel route up the right sideline. And he beats the defender one-on-one. -on -one. And TSU out of harm's way into Oaklander territory at the 35. From the shotgun. Wilson flips it out to the left too high. The intended receiver there was Ladarius Owens on the previous play, Ken. First catch of the season for Trenton Leary. He had eight catches last year. Just his second game of the season today, and a good start for him with that big first down pickup. Yeah, you see Ladarius Owens there with the drop. That was one thing that played Texas Southern last week. It's played them all year. And Coach McKinney says... It's just not in the game. It's been happening in practice as well. You play like you practice. Have to have better concentration in that passing game. Hand off on second and seven. Nice hit in the open field. He's just shy of a first down. The tackle was made by Isaiah Robinson, native of Los Angeles. Yeah, you see the groundwork there. Great job by camera crew. Good job by that offensive line opening that hole on the right side. Excellent open field tackle by Robinson. Probably saved another touchdown. Third and three for Texas Southern. Right before down territory for Coach McKinney. This comes from the 27-yard line. Jace Wilson hands it off. Up the middle. Hard charging run for a first down. And the pickup there. Ja'Cory Howard, Houstonian from Aldine High School. Yeah, Howard, he's the thunder of this thunder and lightning backfield. He goes 6'1", 224 pounds, senior, hard runner. Hurry up offense, first and 10 from the 20-yard line for TSU. Take of a handoff, flips it out to the right. Pick up a five or six. Jiren Johnson, he's been the featured receiver today. Big size, six foot four, 210 pounds from Louisiana. Yeah, just a little release into the flat, easy throw that time for Wilson. Allow Johnson to use his athletic ability to pick up some nice yardage after the catch. Big kid goes six four, 210 pounds. Second and two for the Tigers as they look for a touchdown on their first two possessions. Wilson puts a man in motion, hands off back the other way. A first down pickup, just methodical here from TSU. Good ball control. Javori Howard 
with the first down run. Ben Howard is running over the right side of that offensive line. That right side led by Dennis Jones, 76, the right guard, and then Thomas Brown, the right tackle, 73. First and goal from the nine for TSU. A fake of a handoff, flip out to the right, catch made. Slips one tackle, pushed out by another. Steady sign of Jiren Johnson through the air here in this first quarter. Well, Johnson's been the main target so far this season. Came into the ball game, 18 receptions, 170 yards, averaging about nine and a half yards per reception. The big play guy on the outside is Quay Davis. That's the one they want to get on track. He's to the top of your screen to the left. Wilson hands it off right up the middle. Touchdown, Tigers. Ja'Cory Howard lowers the boom as he is in. I mentioned the Thunder, Mike, and the Thunder heard in Houston on this carry. Yeah, I mean, just a wide open lane. I think I can still run through that lane. I don't know if I can run over anyone, though, like that. <laughs> as Howard gets into the end zone. Second score of the first period. And he ran over Robinson, who had the big tackle earlier in the drive. Alkenberg on for the point after touchdown. It is up and good. Two for two for the PAT for Curtis Falkenberg, the Houstonian. And a good start for Clarence McKinney, similar to last season, a 37-2 win over Lincoln. But a good balanced attack, Ken. Doing it on the ground and through the air. I mean, that was an excellent job after the great punt by Lincoln. Pinned them back at their own two-yard line. TSU with a couple of big pass plays from Wilson to get them out from their own end across midfield. Then the running game took over. A couple of nice pass plays to Johnson in the flat. And then, of course, to Corey Howard taking it in from four yards out to cap off a 98-yard drive. TSU with a two-score lead just over five minutes to go in the first. And Clarence McKinney took over the program 2019. Went to Yates High School just down the street. Associate head coach at University of Arizona as we see this touchdown run. From Ja'Cory Howard. He got a great block from 68. Made a Torrance. The 6'4 junior. The TSU across that offensive line. I mean, just look at the size that they have. They have three 300 pounders on that offensive line. So it may be a long afternoon for the front four of Lincoln University. Kickoff here. Return from the 14 yard line. Out near the 25, where Lincoln will take over. A great note in the bio for Ja'Cory Howard on the TSU football website. They asked him, what's your favorite food? He said, all food, all food, all food, with exclamation marks. That is how you get to the sturdy build, 6'1", 225. You'll eat anything. <laughs> but he works it off, though. He's a hard worker. He'll get in that weight room, you know couple of extra plates at the dinner table and a couple of extra plates on those bench presses as well. So, Corey Howard's here. favorite athlete, Dalvin Cook, the running back with the Vikings. Second possession for the Oaklanders of Lincoln University from Oakland, California. T.J. Goodwin fumbles the snap, picks it up, looks to his right, throws out there. It's incomplete. So a shaky start for Lincoln, their first possession. They had the false start on first down. This time they have a fumbled snap and an incomplete pass. What do you think about the Dalvin Cook comparison for Ja'Cory Howard? That's his favorite running back in the NFL. Well, Dalvin's more of a speed guy. You know, he likes to get upfield, tremendous speed, tremendous athlete. Corey more of a power guy, but, you know, he's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of desire to get to that next level. When you were Ja'Cory's age, who was your favorite NFL running back? For me, it was the Juice and it was Earl Campbell. Okay. <laughs> it was Earl Campbell, Love You Blue, of course. And then, you know, back at that time, you know, before all the drama of, of the, you know, of the 90s, you know, back when I was a kid in the 80s, it was, you know, O.J. Simpson, Walter Payton, Earl Campbell. Those, those were the guys that all the kids 
you know, looked up to that wanted to play tailback. And that was when running back was the feature position. They weren't trying to, you know, take their money away like they're doing now in the NFL where they don't value the running backs the way that they should. Third down for Lincoln. And the first sack of the day for TSU brought down by a pair in the backfield, including Michael Aikens, a new Iberia product from Louisiana. You know, the great job by this TSU defense. Just watch the interior pressure. Nowhere to go for the quarterback. Good one. He stumbled a little bit. And he's still trying to get comfortable in this offense, get used to his receivers, as well as his offensive line, figure out the protection packages, and it's a work in progress for Lincoln. Another good punt back to the 36-yard line, and no gain. That's two really good punts today for Lincoln. The first one pinned him back to the two-yard line. Stephen Ernest, the Middletown, Ohio native, is moving the ball today in Houston. <laughs> He's taking advantage of these uh, hot conditions and doing a nice job. TSU on the season, we talked about it, 0-4 rough start. They had a tremendous 2022 season. Had a chance the final week of the season to kind of sneak into that SWAT championship game. Had a tough defeat on the road against Alabama A&M. Andrew Body got hurt late in that ball game and Texas Southern ended up losing that game. Southern ended up still in the division, getting to the SWAT championship game. TSU had beat Southern earlier in the year, so they had that tiebreaker against the Jaguars, but things did not work out, and then a rough start this year with Body getting hurt again um, in the Prairie View game, and here we are. First down play for TSU is third possession. They go back to the ground. It's to Corey Howard who ran it in on the last series. Howard getting a lot of touches. Pick up a six. Second and four Tigers here just past midfield. Fake of a handoff. They'll swing it towards the sideline. Safe play. Good decision making again. I've been very impressed. Only one touchdown all season for Jace Wilson, who two years ago was all Southern Conference at Furman. Yeah, he's really good with the football. Very accurate. We've seen his patience in the pocket. Reads defense as well. Doesn't turn the football over a lot, which that's what you have if you're going to be a Clarence McKinney quarterback. You have to protect the football first and foremost. Six starts as a true freshman. His team went four and two in his six starts. As we stay here for the timeout from Durley Stadium, third and four coming up. It was 63 for 122 over 1,000 passing yards as a freshman. Six touchdowns, only three INT. So this is a guy that just his track record shows he values the football. Ken, three touchdowns as a freshman, just one this season. And we've seen his decision-making. If there's nothing on, we'll simply throw it out of bounds. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Excellent decision-maker. And he's becoming a leader. You know, Coach said, hey, this is been Andrew Body's team. This may be Andrew Body's team going forward next year, but Wilson came in, accepted the role of being the backup, being the understudy, but now he's starting to step into that leadership position again, just a sophomore. So you can see the athletic ability, the way he reads the defense, and the way he delivers the football. And Coach McKinney said he's improving every week and he's gained the confidence of his teammates. Third and four Tigers from the 48-yard line. Slant route, wide open, catch made, and he's brought down. Good play design there from TSU. As it's Tavares AK. Okay, you saw a little stunt that Lincoln tried to come up with to get into the backfield and put pressure on the quarterback, but a good job getting the ball out quick. It's a nice grab downfield by A. Chains. Yeah, the penalty will negate that against Texas Southern. That will bring up a repeat third down. An 
ineligible man downfield negates that first down catch. Band being told when to play. That's tough on homecoming weekend to keep the band in check. Oh, it's a drone in the state. Oh, a drone, excuse me. Yeah. I thought it was the band. Yeah. Well, the band normally behaves when the yeah. offense is on the field. Um, but apparently there's a drone flying around Burley Stadium. Can't have the drones in the stadium, kids. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Got that situation taken care of and back to play. Third and nine, Texas Southern from the 46-yard line. Low snap handled by Wilson. Wilson is brought oh. down. First sack today for the Oaklanders, and they're fired up as they will force the first punt today for Texas Southern. Yeah, watch the pressure. Watch the right side. Getting around Hip Hill. You don't normally see that, but Hip Hill got beat on that play. Nice job by the Oaklanders, and they get a sack, and they're going to force a TSU punt. Marquise Greenwood, the first to arrive on the scene, along with Ashik Tiake. A punt time for TSU. Patrick Helen, freshman from Johnson High School, Buda, Texas. His punt is fair caught at the 20-yard line. Almost a late hit there. No harm, no foul. This was a spotted at the 20. Third possession for Lincoln. Just a little conversation there. Shannon Jennis, the Maryland native, putting his case, and you can see the thoughts from Desmond Gums on the Lincoln sideline asking, how was that not a penalty? Yeah, he wanted the 15-yard penalty. And again, the Texas Southern player eased up at the end. He definitely wasn't trying to hit the receiver. I think it was more incidental contact, and that's why the official didn't call it. I think if the receiver would have fumbled the football, you probably would have seen a flag come out. But in that situation, it's more no, no harm, no foul. I agree with you for what it's worth. T.J. Goodwin from the shotgun. Head off right side. Good push. And a pickup of five or six. They love pounding the ball. Again, 32 carries, 20 passing attempts last week in the loss of Lamar. And they give the ball back to the featured back, Otis Way. TSU, they run a three-man front. Not a lot of depth on that defensive line position. Last week against Grambling, they gave up 282 yards on the ground. So that's an area that the Tigers really want to tighten up. High snap, open man on the left side. Nice elusiveness, avoiding the tackle, and he's picked up a first down. He might be the man today for Lincoln. It's on his way, back-to-back -back plays for the Oaklanders. Way, I mean, he's going to be their target. Out of the backfield, on the ground, made a nice move in the open field on Xavier Player. The grad student out of Cibolo missed that tackle for Texas Southern. And Lincoln picks up the first down, and looks like that's going to be the end of the quarter. End of the first quarter on homecoming Saturday. A good start for the Tigers as they seek their first win of the season. Two touchdowns, both on the ground. And the Tigers lead by 14. Domino's drop to a location near you with new Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. Just choose Pinpoint Delivery on the Domino's app, drop a pin on the map, and get pizza delivered just about anywhere. Here you are. Thank you. It's Domino's Pinpoint Delivery.
Land Rover, above and beyond. Welcome back. We start the second quarter. TSU homecoming. Matt Peterson with the former Texas running back, Ken Moore. And the Oaklanders back to the line of scrimmage for first down. T.J. Goodwin, the quarterback, takes the snap, slings it out to the right. Catch made in a very short game, maybe one yard or two. Tariq Phillips, native of Miami. With the catch. First quarter stats, TSU dominating total yardage, 178 yards for the Tigers, 30 for Lincoln University. Two first downs for the Oaklanders in that first period as they trail 14 zip. Second down and six. Back to the ground. It's way once again. He might have over 30 carries today if he keeps up this pace. <laughs> well, it's going to be up to that Texas Southern defense to tackle. You see a little drawing down on the field. Hold his way and letting them know, yeah, I'm, I'm here. You know, and look, they're from Oakland, California. A. <laughs> is what, how they like to, you know, enunciate it. And, um, you know, they, they may have a little lack of talent. But they don't have a lack of confidence in, in chatter talk, if you will. Well, receivers wide on third down. Deep ball downfield, in and out of the hands. Nice throw, but unable to bring it in. Was T. Tariq Phillips. He had the catch on the previous throw. This one he could not quite bring in. Yeah, one on one coverage down that near sideline. Closing was Javius Williams. Out of Dallas skyline, but they had an opportunity that time for a big play, just in and out of the hands of the receiver. And those are the balls that you have to catch. You know, you, you want to help your quarterback. Um, the underneath routes have been working, but to stay in this ball game, you want to complete those big pass plays when you have an opportunity. Stephen Ernest, another good punt, brought back to the 21-yard line. Ooh. Nice open field tackle. Wow. Excellent work. It was DJ Turner with the play on special teams. A penalty is bunker yeah. is down. There may have been a block in the back right at the point of attack, but an excellent open field tackle on special teams. Nine first downs for Texas Southern. TSU's done it mostly on the ground. 11 carries for 90 yards, averaging over 8 yards per carry. Six catches for 88 yards. Well, this player's going to be against TSU, so that's going to be a new set of downs for Lincoln. They get the ball back in good field position from the 46-yard line. Penalty results in an automatic first down, so the Tiger defense will have to go back on the field. TJ Goodwin for Lincoln. It's the play call from the sideline, oh. moving up front. <laughs> <laughs> Big 74 was like, whoops, freeze. <laughs> Tennis Shelley out of North Chicago, Illinois. On the right side of the line. It has to be a lonely feeling when you're the only one in the stadium to move. <laughs> first and 15 now for Lincoln. Trying to break through, get their first points of the day. Tiger showing blitz. Good fake that time. He keeps it for the first time this afternoon. Pick up a five or six. Great job by Goodwin coming up 
on the top of the screen was Jacob Williams, the leading tackler for Texas Southern number 11. You see him just overrun the play that time. Good inside move by Goodwin. Pick up a nice gain on first down. Goodwin had an outstanding career at South Falls High School here in Houston area. Directing his receivers and blockers, he's brought down for a loss. Excellent. Patience in the backfield there. That was Jacob Williams, the linebacker, went to Hightower High School. Yeah, Williams missed the tackle on the previous play, as you mentioned. Great patience that time. Stringing out Goodwin to the sideline and then making the tackle. Williams has been a surprise of this TSU team so far this season. Leads the team in sacks with three also leads them in tackles with 36, TFLs with seven and a half. He was a walk-on, great product, one of seven walk-ons that have earned scholarships under Coach McKinney. His mom also teaches at Texas Southern as well. So, you know she's very proud of her son. A great story from Coach McKinney. We'll get to in a moment. Pressure and a big-time sack. Good work in the backfield. It's Williams again. Back-to-back -back sacks. That's Jacob Williams we were just talking about. And he transferred from defensive end in high school to that outside linebacker position now. And Coach McKinney talked about the techniques that he learned at a defensive end he uses as an outside linebacker now. He knows how to rush the quarterback. He has by far been the most impactful player on that Texas Southern defense here in 2023. According to Coach McKinney, his mom kept telling Coach, hey, you have to recruit my son. You have to recruit my son. He said, okay. We'll give him a look. They thought he didn't have the athleticism and size to be a defensive lineman at the college level, so they move him to linebacker. He's been excellent. And those are his fourth and fifth sacks of the season. Look, he's just a true. <laughs> so, we got one more year with this kid. Penalty against Lincoln University before the punt. We also talked to Coach McKinney about how much he would allow his players to be involved in homecoming activities this week. And he's like, look, homecoming is part of the experience. As long as you're taking care of your responsibilities on the practice field and in the classroom, you know, go be involved in homecoming because it only comes around once a year. And so these players have had an opportunity to participate in all the festivities this week. Um, they want to go out and put out a, a good performance here to, today. And then enjoy the homecoming parties tonight. Texas 7 up 14. They'll start at the 24 when we come back to Durley Stadium. Second quarter from Durley Stadium in Houston. 14-0 Texas Southern over Lincoln University. 
Here are the touchdown runs. Owens from 13 yards, Howard for four yards. Yeah, both of those guys have done an excellent job in the first period. Good job by the offensive line. Excellent drives, both of those. 66-yard drive, capped off that 14-yard touchdown run with Ladarius Owens. And then Ja'Cory Howard, his four-yard touchdown run, concluded a 98-yard drive for Texas Southern as they lead 14 zip. Richie Corey Howard, his first touchdown of the season, his 10th career college touchdown. He's been around the program a long time, had five touchdowns last year, three, two years ago. A good look at Lincoln University out of Oakland, California. Program began three years ago. Last week, tough loss to Lamar in 38 zip. Trailing about 14 here in this one. Chase Wilson. Hands it off on first down. He bounces outside. He's wrestled down by a pair of Oaklanders defenders. Keep calling his name time and again. But Darius Owen is the man with the ball in his hands today. The Manville High School product. Yeah, four carries, 53 yards before that rush attempt. See Texas Southern with three receivers stacked at the top of the formation. They'd like to run the football a lot out of this set. Back to the ground. First down pickup. They'd like to split those wide receivers out. Take as many players out of the box as possible. Lighten the block, the box, and allow more one-on-one -on -one matchups for those offensive linemen to open up those running lanes for those talented tailbacks. Good play fake. Now downfield is Jace Williams with the deep ball. It's incomplete, nearly brought in there by Quay Davis. Another would-be catch for the quarterback, Jace Wilson. And Davis, he's the big play receiver. He averages 16 yards per reception. They want to get him more involved in the offense, but he's got to hold on to the football. Another drop for Quay. Coach talked about it. Too many drops on the season. And sometimes it's almost like a, a baseball infielder. You get the yips. We saw that with Jeremy Pena a lot early in the season for the Astros. He made a great play last week, thank goodness. Uh, last night, I should say. But as a receiver, it can start to get into your head, especially on deep passes because the ball seems like it's in the air forever. And, you know, you lose concentration. You press too much. I think they probably need to get maybe a screen pass, something easy. Easy, get that confidence back and then take some shots down deep. But Quay Davis, another critical drop. Offside against Lincoln University. We'll see Wilson again from the shotgun. They try to go up tempo as much as possible today. Four receivers for Wilson. They go back to the ground. Good blocking here up this left sideline into Oaklander territory. And that time, the carry. Goes to Davion Ford. Yeah, watch the center, Jake Mann, 62, getting out after the snap. Getting out, getting the block. Could have been a holding penalty there as he kind of tackled the defender. But a good job by Mann. So officials didn't call it. The senior out of Clear Lake High School leading the way. The penalty against Texas Southern moves it back. Moves up second and eight. Injury timeout on the field at Durley Stadium. Of course, coming up at halftime, we'll have the Texas Southern Ocean of Soul marching band. Definitely take a look at them. And as they always put on a great show, particularly at halftime. We'll take a break here on Homecoming. 14 nothing Tigers, early second. Yes! Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. AT&T Sportsnet is becoming Space City Home Network. Oh, baby! Same channel. 
approaching October 3rd. Scared of a little blood? Dr. Garcia? Whoa! Crest Reality Checkup. Bleeding gums are serious, Jamie. I must be brushing too hard. No, it's actually a sign of bacterial infection, one that could spread to other parts of the body. Check this out. Unlike other toothpastes, Crest Gum Detoxify's antibacterial fluoride works below the gum line to help heal gums and stop bleeding. Crest saves the day, huh? No reason to fear. The number one toothpaste brand in America, Crest. <sighs> that purifying clean feeling from a dental tool? Now at home with Oral-B. Because Round cleans better by surrounding each tooth for 100% cleaner teeth and healthier gums. It's a brush so advanced, it knows just what it takes to give you a purifying clean feeling like you just left the dentist. Oral-B. Brush like a pro. Just a moment ago, an incomplete pass from Jace Wilson to the left sideline. That brings up fourth and nine. So the tide turning for Lincoln, the last two possessions have looked much better defensively. Yeah, they've tightened up on the uh, the run defense there. And Jace Wilson and the passing game, a little off kilter so far on the last couple of possessions for Texas Southern. Look, Clarence, Coach Clarence McKinney told us that this game may look a little different than it did last year. Wilson so far this afternoon, only 6 of 13 passing the football for 88 yards. We've seen already a couple of drops as well from TSU receivers. After two touchdowns on the first two series, two punts in a row for TSU on the offensive end, and now the Oaklanders take over just past the 20-yard line. Three punts today for the Oaklanders. Man in motion, high snap. They hand it off from the jet sweep. Good tackling there, minimal gain on first down for Lincoln. Yeah, with a school like Lincoln, they don't have a lot of depth, and, and that tends to play factors in ball games as you get into the second half, particularly with the travel. They have to travel cross country. All of their games are on the road. So imagine those long flights from California to Texas. I think they have a couple of trips to the East Coast this year as well. They did have one game in California earlier this season, so that was kind of like a home game for them. But that long travel can eventually wear on you. Pick up about seven yards. Now back to the ground for Lincoln. Otis Way has been the man with the ball in his hands, the Minneapolis native. Three first downs so far for Lincoln. 14 rushing attempts, averaging about two yards per carry. Only 13 yards to the air. Again, 18 yards total through the air last week at Lamar for Lincoln University. Third down, flipped out to the right. Breaks one tackle, lowers his head. Still shy of a first down around the 30-yard line. Yeah, good pursuit that time from the Texas Southern defense. Couple of players coming up from that secondary position to make a tackle. Try to limit that yards after catch. Force the fourth down, fourth and short now for Lincoln. Decision time for Coach Gums and see if he's going to leave his offense on the field. Looks like he's going to bring on his special teams unit. Uh, some very good punts today. And the punter, Stephen Ernest, he pinned TSU back inside the two-yard line on his first spot. He's had good kicks all afternoon. Ernest standing just past the 15-yard line. Handles the high snap. Nearly blocked that time, but it looked like some contact from the TSU punt team, and there might be a flag here. There's going to be penalty marker that's going to be an automatic first down because it was fourth and one let's take a look at it again high snap yeah that has to be called and that's Williams you saw both hands go to his head no call though from the officials so 
guess they deemed it minimal contact. <laughs> Texas Southern gets away with one there. That looks like clear. It wasn't rough in the kicker, but it was definitely running into the kicker. Yeah, and on fourth and one, any infraction would be a first down for Lincoln University. Yes, you will try and capitalize after back-to-back -back punts. It's Jace Williamson back on the field, the starting quarterback this year after Andrew Body's season-ending injury, a re-aggravation of last year's injury on the last game of the season. Handoff right side. Pass midfield, brought down inside the 40. Flag comes in late in that long run from Ladarius Owens. We'll check the penalty marker here. Might wipe out another big run by Ladarius. Looks like that was by receiver Savion Sims, possibly blocking downfield. In TSU, they've they had a couple penalties not called by the officials today. They've had several penalties called. And, again, that was one of the things that Coach McKinney talked about that has hampered this ball club so far this year. It's been turnovers and penalties, just physical mistakes and mental mistakes that have hurt TSU so far this season. Back to the ground, Ladarius Owens. It's about six past midfield. Sims, the man who committed the holding penalty previous play at Elkins High School, grew up in Missouri City, just southwest of Houston. Hurry up offense once again. Six minutes left, second quarter. Back to Owens. Not much room up that right side. He barrels towards the first down pylon. Knocked over defenders, knocked over the, uh, the down linesman holding the marker. Everything went flying on that far sideline that time from Ladarius Owens. Watch it here at ground level. Owens runs over a defender, and then just a couple of coaches go flying as well. Hopefully everyone's okay on that far sideline. Owens over 100 yards on the ground already, a 31-yard carry part of that. He has a touchdown. It's been a lot of Owens and Howard. Second and four. Right back up the middle. And again, you see the push that the Oaklanders are getting just pushing off the line of scrimmage. Getting a good push. Picked up the first down. Man down for Lincoln University. Again, the injuries can pile up for a team with a short bench. Many players playing both ways for Lincoln. Yeah, and the heat out here this afternoon, of course, weighing on everyone. And you get a look at the TSU side there, homecoming day and festive atmosphere out here at Durley Stadium. And again, back to back trips from the West Coast to H Town for Lincoln. They should be very familiar with. You know, Hobby Airport, you know, by now. Or Intercontinental, I'm not sure which one they flew into. But. Last week at Lamar, east of Houston and Beaumont. And TSU back on the field after the injury. First down for the 41. Wilson, 6 for 13 in the air. No touchdowns, no interceptions. He's been sacked once. And stays with the crowd game. Feels like TSU saying, until you prove you can stop the run, we're just going to continue to run the ball today. Yeah, absolutely. To Corey Howard that time over the right side. And again, TSU definitely has the physical advantage up front. <laughs> three 300 pounders on that offensive line and you can just see the size differential on your screen back to the ground on second and five first down pickup he stays on his feet inside the 10 
touchdown to Corey Howard, breaking multiple would-be tacklers for his second touchdown today. You see the strength, power, and determination by Ja'Cory Howard. Again, running over that right side. Good seal blocked that time by the offensive line. Excellent job. Powering his way into the end zone. The center, Jack Nance, once again, four-year starter. Getting the seal block to get Howard to the second level. 36-yard touchdown run after he brought one in from four yards in the first quarter. His first two touchdowns of the 2023 season for Ja'Cory Howard. And a clear game plan from Clarence McKinney, the head coach of TSU. Three rushing touchdowns today. Yeah, absolutely. Again, you see the big lineman getting downfield, opening up running lanes. And I know those big guys up front, they love to eat. And they love to eat against this defense. Texas Southern so far this afternoon, 284 yards of total offense with 196 on the ground. Again, you see Howard. That last tackle started at the 12-yard line, and he's just able to drag two defenders into the end zone. Might be looking at if his right hip hits the turf before he crosses the pylon. Let's take a look here. Still up, still up. Falls down there. Could be just short. Hard to tell from that angle if the ball has crossed the pylon yeah. when his hip hits. Not sure if it's enough to overturn it because there's not a camera right down the goal line. So the visual. touchdown is confirmed. Touchback. Just over four minutes left in the second quarter. 21-0 Tigers. Here is the drive. Six plays, 69 yards, just 243 off the clock. And Ken Moore, three rushing touchdowns, a former running back yourself. You don't mind that <laughs> type of game plan from Coach McKinney. No, absolutely not. You want to give the ball to those big guys in the backfield as much as often. But for Coach McKinney, I know he wants to get that passing game untacked, on track, because once they get back into Southwestern Athletic Conference play, they're going to have to have a balanced attack if they want to have the type of success the rest of the season. So they know that they can run the football. That's been the staple of this ball club. But they have to be able to catch the football downfield. They have to be able to protect Wilson. They've done a nice job of that thus far today. He's only been sacked once. But they have to get that passing game going to be a complement to this dynamic running game. That was way once again, his seventh carry today. He's averaging over six yards per carry. It wasn't much per carry, but he had a big 13-yard run that boosted his average on the last series. Second down and four for the Oaklanders of Lincoln University. Two left, two right. One of those put in motion, low snap bounces to the hands of Goodwin. He kneels down. Texas Southern calls time. Just still trying to work out the kinks as Lincoln University team can. Third year as a football program. Second straight homecoming on the road at TSU. But those little things at this level, first play of the game offensively, false start. Multiple low snaps. If you're going to be a shotgun team, you have to make the exchange a lot cleaner from the center to the quarterback. Yeah, and that, it, it, that's an excellent point because if you're the quarterback, you don't want to have to look at the football. You want to be looking downfield, evaluating the defense, reading the defense, and if you have to take your eyes off the defense to 
go down low or go up high to catch the football. That can break your concentration, and especially if it's a young quarterback like Goodwin, not young in age, but young in this system, then it can really discombobulate an offense. Harris into the game at the cornerback position for Texas Southern before this third and four play. Three left, one right for the Oaklanders and look back towards the sideline for the quarterback, T.J. Goodwin. Some confusion now, and Goodwin gets the snap off in time. Low throw. Catch made. He's near a first down marker, and it is a first down. They go back to Way, who's been the featured carrier for a nice first down catch. Yeah, and you want that throw to be a little bit higher if you're good when allow Way an opportunity to run after the catch. You get that big fella downfield, you know, against those smaller guys in the secondary, it could be a problem. Man in motion, high snap. Back to Way. Way breaks two tackles, bounces outside. He's over midfield, still on his feet. Way brought down at the 41. Enthusiastic. Otis Way, another big pickup and a first down for the Oaklanders. Back to back first down by Lincoln. Good block on the inside that time, a couple of arm tackles. And again, this is one thing that Texas Southern wants to work on as well is tackling in the open field. Coach McKinney talked about it as well. He said, look, we don't hit a lot in practice because you don't want guys hitting injured, but you have to tackle once the pads go live in the football game. Good penetration that time coming up to make the hit. Big number 94 for TSU getting into the backfield. David Walker, freshman out of George Ranch High School, making a big defensive play. Previous play, we saw away with the stiff arm on Canary Simmons, the safety at a Bel Air High School. That was a 23-yard run on the prior play from Way. He's up to 67 yards on the ground on nine carries. Otis Way's way or the highway <laughs> today for Lincoln University. Oh, this way, having a nice first half and shaking up Lincoln player on the sideline. And he has 67 of the 74 rushing yards as we see the Ocean of Soul preparing to be the main attraction at halftime on this TSU homecoming. Ocean of Soul founded in 1969 by Benjamin J. Butler II. One of the best bands in the land. get a chance to see them live here at halftime. Lincoln back on the field, trying to get on the scoreboard before halftime. A minute 42 left in the second. Ocean of Soul preparing for a week of homecoming festivities in Houston. As you said, Ken, Coach McKinney said, as long as it doesn't get in the way of film or the weight room, or meetings, or practice, or study hall. You can handle homecoming week. You can take part of the festivities as part of being a student athlete. And there's a high snap, good recovery, but he goes down. Unfortunate for Lincoln. They're on the move. They're in TSU territory, and simple things like the snap has been a constant problem for T.J. Goodwin, the quarterback today. Yeah, just self-inflicted wounds thus far here in the first half by Lincoln University. Texas Southern uses another timeout. You see the frustration mounting for T.J. Goodwin. Again, this is a quarterback with 18 total passing yards last week. He was fact, sacked five times. I think they've solved the sack issue. He hasn't been under too much pressure, but the basic fundamental of snapping the football has been the biggest problem, in my opinion, on offense today for Lincoln. Yeah, four sacks here in the first half, but a couple of those were the result of bad snaps, not necessarily Texas Southern getting pressure because they, what they wanted to do this week is have a simplified, quick passing game, get the ball out of his hands quickly, not allow that Texas Southern defense to harass him in the pocket But two or three of those sacks have just been the direct result of bad, you know, center snaps. Eric Bryce comes in, a wide receiver from Tempe, Arizona. 
Second and 13, just over a minute, 20 left. Another poor wow. snap. This one to the quarterback's left. He picks it up. He'll heave it downfield. It is caught inside the 15-yard line. A broken play is the best play today for Lincoln University. It's Tariq Phillips with the catch. Wow, good one to say it. I'm just going to throw it up for grabs and let my big receiver go up top. And he wins the one-on-one -on -one matchup. As you mentioned, the best play for Lincoln today off a broken play. And it's first down and 10. 40-yard catch for Phillips. Now a quarterback keeper and a big tackle around the 10-yard line. As we saw, maybe the second quarterback keeper today for T.J. Goodwin. Clock ticking under a minute left from Gurley Stadium in this first half. Second down from the 10. Gurbin looks back towards the sideline. A man goes in motion. Under 30 seconds now. Taking a lot of time. Another high snap, another fumble, and it's picked up and carried towards the end zone. Touchdown! Another broken play, but it works out again for Lincoln University. Maybe the defense froze a little after another near fumble, but it's Kibo Norfleet, the Oakland native, with the touchdown. Yeah, now this one's on Goodwin. That was a good snap. He just bobbled the snap, but right into the hands of the tailback, and he just barrels his way into the end zone. And the Oaklanders get on the board here in the final minute before halftime. Point after touchdown now. Stephen Ernest with the PAT. And Lincoln's already exceeded their point total last year on the TSU homecoming. An Oakland product. Kibo Northfleet, 5'11", 220 pounds, a strong, low-to-the-ground running back. And good work for him. That was another near fumble for Lincoln. He caught the loose ball and just barreled in. And Northfleet, that was his first rushing attempt and truthfully, Ken, I don't know if that was designed to be handed to him or if it was simply him recovering the fumble and running it in. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> he had four carries last week for 18 yards against Lamar. Nine-play, 75-yard drive. Took 348 off the clock. The big pass play on the broken play downfield. We got a ball game here at Durley Stadium, 21-7. TSU on top, 16 seconds to go here before halftime. So Coach McKinney took a couple of timeouts, hoping to get the football back for his TSU offense. But Lincoln was able to take advantage themselves and get it into the end zone. Sixteen seconds left for Texas Southern before halftime. From the nine-yard line, right up the middle. And a nice return up to the 33-yard line. That's Ladarius Owens. Eight seconds left. We'll see if... Coach McKinney will just have Chase Wilson take a knee. Or if they'll try to play here, maybe try to run, maybe hand it off to one of the tailbacks, see if they can break one. Stay tuned for a terrific halftime show. Texas Southern Ocean of Soul marching band will entertain the crowd. Homecoming. Jace Wilson hands it off left side.
Good coverage from Lincoln University, and that should bring an end to this first half. Three running touchdowns for the Tigers. The first, a 14-yard carry from Ladarius Owens, and then back-to-back -back TDs. Ja'Cory Howard from four yards, and then from 36 yards. His first two touchdowns of the season. Ken Moore, your thoughts on this first half? Well, excellent job, excellent start by Texas Southern. Excellent on the ground. Defense played tremendous. Nice draw by Lincoln, though, at the end of the half to get back into it. A lot coming up at halftime on this homecoming Saturday. Ocean of Soul will perform on field and more. Good start as TSU looks for its first one of the season. One touchdown for Owens. Two touchdown runs for Ja'Cory Howard. It's 21-7 Tigers at halftime. Houston, we have a problem. We're the new all-star team. I'm Rob G, the general. I'm Amir Diamond. I'm Michelle McKnight. And we are bringing you the best of Houston's culture in hip-hop, R&B, and neo-soul. Catch the all-new vibe, your free community streaming station. Vibe out anytime in H-Town, Sugarland, Pearland, Katy, Midtown, Humble, The Woodlands. Anywhere in the city, state, or country by downloading the Vibe app directly to your smartphones. The Vibe, powered by KTSU 90.9 FM. Houston, Texas. TSU is really the land of opportunity. I have expanded my network with career services. It's been a huge help. Everyone here has your best interest. It's a supportive environment for the faculty. On behalf of the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and TSU family, go Tigers! <laughs> Coming 2023 at Derby Stadium on the campus of Texas Southern University. Matt Peterson with the former Texas running back Ken Moore. A ball carrier's dream, Ken, in that first half. Three running touchdowns, one from Darius Owens, his second of the season. Then Ja'Cory Howard, back-to-back -back touchdowns. And then a consolation at the end of the first half for Lincoln University. They just stuck with it, fumbles and all, for a late first-half touchdown. Yeah, nice take first half by Texas Southern University. Dropped out to that quick 21-0 lead. And um, 196 yards on the ground for TSU in that first half. As you mentioned, the three rushing touchdowns. And then Norfleet uh, for Lincoln University gets into the end zone near the end of the half. And you see some of the homecoming festivities. The king and queen will be presented here momentarily. Looks like we have a nice scholarship offer coming for Texas Southern or perhaps a donation to the university as well. So a lot of pomp and circumstance surrounding homecoming here this afternoon. And luckily the weather cooperated. A little toasty here in H-Town today. About 90 degrees, about 95 down on the field. But partly cloudy skies. Got a little bit of a breeze. Maybe about 10 miles per hour or so. And um, so it'll be a lot going on here at halftime at Gurley Stadium. Including the Ocean of Soul, which will perform on field. But a good performance from Clarence McKinney's team. It took over the program in 2019 after good runs at Arizona and at Texas A&M. We'll take a break. More coming up at halftime. It's a good lead at the break. 21-7 Tigers on homecoming 2023. drop to a location near you with new Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. Just choose Pinpoint Delivery on the Domino's app, drop a pin on the map, and get pizza delivered just about anywhere. Here you are. Thank you. It's Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. Right. I'll get right on it.
Since the dawn of man, getting help has been hard. Whether it's for ED, hair loss, or your mental health. Through Hims, getting help is simple. It all starts with one small click for you. And you. And you. That can change everything for future you. That's healthcare, as it should be. Click now. Thank yourself later. Get started at 4 hymns.com. Only on H Town High School Sports with Todd Freed. See all the action right here. Time at Durley Stadium on the campus of Texas Southern on this homecoming Saturday. Matt Peterson with Ken Morin. The rushing yards tell the story for me. Three rushing touchdowns for TSU. Nearly 200 rushing yards in the first 30 minutes. Yeah, three nice drives by Texas Southern. They had a 66-yard drive, a 98-yard drive, and a 69-yard drive that really accumulated for the 288 yards of total offense. Time of possession pretty even so far in this ball game. Lincoln actually has an advantage. 16 minutes to 13 minutes. Both teams doing fairly well on third down. Three of five for TSU. Three of eight for Lincoln. Passing yardage. Texas Southern really wanted to have an advantage in this department. Only 92 to 60 at this point. A couple of more drop passes by Texas Southern receivers. I'm sure that's something Coach McKinney wants to exploit and get better at in the second half. And we talked about the defensive line presence with Coach McKinney. We said overall it's a positional weakness, and he kind of corrected us and said, well, look at the opponents we've played and look at our SWAC running game. We're a pretty good run-stopping team, and that shows up today with how well they've stopped the run against Lincoln. Yeah, absolutely, and as we're going to take a look at the upcoming schedules for both of these ball clubs, first for Lincoln, and they have been a team on the road. Again, they don't have a home stadium that is currently being built, so they play all of their games outside of Oakland, California, and you look at some of these road trips, they've already been to Texas last week to take on Lamar here again back in Houston, and you look at the upcoming travel that they have October 14th, they'll go to Southern to take on the Jaguars, they'll head out to Tennessee, and then at the end of the year, they're going to make their trip all the way cross country to Tallahassee to take on Florida A&M, Florida A&M, the number one school in the SWAT so far this season, this season in the top 20 in the nation, Florida A&M. Uh, Miles piling it up for these Lincoln University Oaklanders off to New Haven, Connecticut next week for TSU. Bethune Cookman next week, and then that Florida A&M. That's a big one on the schedule for Coach McKinney. Yeah, that's going to be a big game um, here in Houston. Uh, at the stadium, Florida A&M, that may be a sellout. That's going to be a huge game this season as TSU gets back in the swag play. They'll head to Southern October 28th to take on the Jaguars and then right back to Jackson State before finishing at home in November, Alcorn State November 11th, and then Arkansas Pine Bluff will close out the season here in Houston on November 18th. But the Tigers get back in the swag play next week as they hope to finish the season strong. Halftime at Durley Stadium, homecoming 2023. 21-7, Texas Southern leads. But there is Owens, a touchdown run. Two touchdown scores from Ja'Cory Howard. A 14-point lead at the break for the Tigers. Figure it out, Shankman. See you on Monday. I believe in you. When a Bud Light legend is finally summoned back to the office. Cold ones will remain firmly top of the agenda. Bud Light legend, it's time to take summer by the coolers. Jordan Thompson. What are the odds she goes all the way?
Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers! Halftime at Durley Stadium. As the calendar turns to October tomorrow, feel, still feels like peak summertime in Houston. <laughs> still feels like July. <laughs> As Texas Southern. And we look at the SWAC schedule. Busy day today. This is next week. Bethune-Cookman against Alabama State. Alcorn State. Grambling State. What else stands out to you, Ken? A Jackson State-Alabama A&M game. That is going to be a tremendous game. Florida A&M and Southern as well. Two tremendous ball games that will have a huge impact in the East and West Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. So a lot to unpack next weekend. Here's the scoreboard. Alabama A&M a big lead over Tuskegee. Yeah, it's homecoming for Alabama A&M today as well. And they're all over Tuskegee. 37 to 3 and then some later action coming on this evening the big one grambling and prairie view at the state fair in dallas that is going to be a huge one tonight as well and of course southern will be taking on arkansas pine bluff alcorn state at alabama state that is a huge game as well and florida a&m travels down to the delta to take on Mississippi Valley State. Right, Grambling and Prairie View from the Cotton Bowl, both unbeaten in SWAC play so far. Here are the news and notes. Jylan Witten, Madison Beasley, and Temperance Chapman, and plus Camila De La Rosa for their performances during conference play, earning SWAC accolades. Yeah, and SWAC, SWAC Soccer Weekly honors. They'll go to Grambling State's. Carolyn Judge, Kayleen Jenkins, and Madison Kobe Taylor. And a formal naming of the Dr. James Frank Building in Birmingham will take place during the week of the 82nd Annual Magic City Classic, Thursday, October 26th at 3 Central Time. And that'll be the prelude to the big Alabama State, Alabama A&M ball game. That was a tremendous game last year. I had the pleasure of calling and um, another battle there. And again, you see the home co homecoming court uh, being presented here at Durley Stadium as Texas Southern has a 21-7 lead here at the halftime break. A lot of homecoming festivities here at TSU. And, you know, we talked about all the, the great tailgating. And, and, and what did you get a chance to sample anything today? That oh, yeah, some gumbo. <laughs> Some brisket. Brisket's always good. Always good. You see the tents, the pop-up tents out, outside the parking lot. And great opportunity. A lot of the alumni come and have a chance to interact with the student athletes and just the student body. Uh, always a tremendous week on campus. You know, to have the snow cones today because it's cold outside. It's hot outside. So you got to have those snow cones and, you know, and whatnot. So... Great atmosphere here at TSU on campus today. As we get to some highlights of this first half, Ken Moore, 37-2. TSU beat Lincoln University last year. Coach McKinney expected a more competitive game this season. Early on, Ladarius Owens, this 14-yard touchdown run, his second of the season, gave the Tigers an early lead. And then you see Jace Williams do an inside handoff, and you see Ja'Cory Howard using his power, just running over a defender, getting into the end zone for his first score of the afternoon. And then Howard again picking his way, running through defenders, stiff arm at the 10-yard line, and then dragging two Oaklanders into the end zone for a 21-zip lead for TSU. Strange play here. It almost feels like he just took it from his quarterback, Kibo Northley, 10 yards for the touchdown. His first carry of the day is the touchdown run for Lincoln. Yeah, and good job by the Oaklanders. Look, they're standing in this ball game right now, 21-7 at the break, and it should be an exciting second half. 14-point game. Stay with us. Texas Southern and Lincoln University in a good one from Durley Stadium for the 2023 Texas Southern Homecoming. 
At Domino's, there's an endless debate. Does adding pepperoni to something always make it better? Uh, yeah. Debate over. Introducing Domino's new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread. For a limited time, get it free with online delivery after just two orders with new Domino's rewards. Everything you've seen me do was made possible by what you don't see. We all have the strength to see what's possible. It's up to us to unlock it. Tonal, be your strongest. This October 10th and 11th, Prime Big Deal Days give Prime members exclusive access to two days of big savings, which means you're kind of a big deal. Prime Big Deal Days, October 10th and 11th, only for Prime members. Some days, I don't have time to slow down. So sipping on coffee just isn't an option. That's when I turn to five-hour energy. It's my five-second coffee. Discover five-hour energy. Ah, the old Houston one-two punch. First comes the left hand. One that sinks and cuts, then devastates with a big curve and a big smile. And then comes the right. The strong reptilian type that you don't see coming. Swing it a bit. It cleans your clock and slides directly into your nightmares. They might be different, but back to back, they'll knock you out. Day in Houston, Texas. Matt Peterson with Ken Moore. It's 90 degrees just the day before the start of October, but real feel is 99 degrees here in the Bayou City. Yeah, just a, a, a small breeze from about 45 miles per hour. Uh, but yeah, very toasty afternoon out at Durley Stadium. TSU up 21 7. And that TSU defense sands the last drive. They had an excellent first half defensively. Ocean is sold now on the field for the final minutes of halftime. As we look at the best moments defensively for Texas Southern against this Link University offense. You see him just gobbling up Godwin, getting him over to the outside, dragging him out defensively. That was a nice play defensively. And then, of course, the main man, number 11, Williams, doing an outstanding job here today. You see the defense coming up, doing a nice job. Not allowing receivers to have that yak yardage after the catch. Four sacks in the first half for Texas Southern. Jacob Williams had back-to-back -back sacks in that first half. Really held Lincoln at bay to the last drive of that first half. It was all punts until the touchdown. As we get a chance to hear and watch the Ocean of Soul, the Texas Southern marching bay.
Chaz McCormick break out in full swing. We thought we'd try out some of our favorite center fielder's nicknames. Chasmanian Devils, an established choice. Chasmanian Devil do it again. Or maybe Chompin' Chaz? Or Chazzy Fizz? Chazzy Fizz with another slice of meatloaf. Mm, sounds delicious. I'll take two. Chaz has that off the field power. Got it. We dropped McCormick. Just Chaz. It's cleaner, you know?
You just got beat by a guy named Chaz. <laughs> That was awesome to be able to go in there, see some names, and just the the amount of people that that signed that wall. I mean, it was it was crazy. Oh, but there's like a little something there. You can't go over it. younger I was a Yankees fan my next door neighbor she's from Boston so we would always have like these little tips back and forth like I would leave a bunch of Yankees flags all over our house we'd come back from school one day and have a big B spray painted in our front yard and they're actually going to be here um, watching me pitch tomorrow so it's going to be awesome to, to play here festivities. the fields we shift our focus towards the third quarter and it's interesting as you mentioned ken as dominant as texas southern was it's only a 14 point lead yeah absolutely you know they had the dominant first quarter and a half and kind of let the foot off the gas and lincoln of course you know they had that big pass play on the broken play that allowed them to get down inside the red zone and then they were able to punch it in on another broken play on the uh, mishandled snap by Goodwin, but the running back Northfleet able to take it in from nine yards out. So a couple of fortunate breaks for Lincoln allowed them to get that touchdown. And you look at T.J. Goodwin, the side falls product, six of nine in the first half for 60 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. So good job by him in the first half. A uh, team that ran the ball 20 times in his Opposite number, Jace Wilson, another steady performance from him. You mentioned a few drops, but again, no mistakes. He has only thrown one interception all season. Yeah, 7 of 14, 50% of his passes. Again, that number could be higher, um, if not for a couple of drops as well. He did get sacked once also. So Lincoln kind of hanging around in this ball game, and they will get the football first to begin the second half. Texas Southern taking its first win of the season. Had a good chat this week with Clarence McKinney, the head coach, to go over in 2019. A Houston native went to Gates High School. He said, we're still practicing hard. Mentally, the team is down. It's hard to keep the same momentum when you're 0-4. And, and he said, from a leadership perspective, the coaches must lead when you're 0-4. For 4-0, oh, it's more of a player-led situation. Yeah, absolutely, and I agree with that, you know. Uh, when things are going good, your, your senior leaders can make sure that your guys keep focused. But he said, hey, it's up to me and the coaching staff, my offensive coordinator, my defensive coordinator, my position group coaches to make sure all of these guys are still locked in because they still have a long way to go in this 2023 season. Everything that they want to accomplish is still in front of them. Set to resume play in the third quarter. 
Here is the kickoff from the 30. Five-yard line, Gustavo Romero kicks it away. He also went to Cy Falls High School. Long return, cross field, and he's knocked down around the 20-yard line. Jacob Williams with the return for Lincoln, and the Oaklanders will begin the third quarter from the 25. Oh, have, uh, Otis Way in that first half, 57 yards, where he had 64 yards. On the ground, 57 yards as a unit as Goodwin was sacked a couple of times that took away from the Russian teams. Yeah, Goodwin looked downright frustrated at times, but he ended the quarter with the touchdown, and we'll see how he works with his center. Mason Barba from Long Beach, California. It was shaky snaps throughout the half. That's a good snap on the sweep. And he's turning the corner for a short game. A different look that time from Lincoln to begin the third quarter. Yeah, it's a TSU defense on the season. They give up about four and a half yards per carry. About 216 yards per game given up by this Texas Southern defense on the ground. That's Eric Price, his second rushing attempt today. A minimal gain for the wide receiver from Tempe, Arizona. Second down, back to the ground, and another short game. Excellent penetration that time. Big number zero, Pippins. And look, that zero really stands out when it's on a guy that goes 309 pounds. <laughs> the big fella getting into the backfield, making a play. And he's one of those guys that can play inside or outside, Coach McKinney said, on that defensive front. Third down snap. He escapes the first contact, picks up a minimal gain. It will be fourth down. That's the problem. You elude the first sack. You set yourself up to take a big shot like he did. Yeah. Jacob Williams comes up a little shaken up on that play as well as Goodwin. As he'll go off the field as Texas Southern does a nice job forcing a three and out on that first possession. But you see Jacob Williams, number 11, their leading tackler, coming over to the uh, sideline a little wobbly. Punt time for Lincoln University. Stephen Ernest has had some really good punts today. This one from his own 15-yard line. Booming kick. Bounces around midfield. It's down there. His worst punt this afternoon. He had one that pinned Texas Southern inside the two. First offensive series coming up for Texas Southern of the third quarter. They were efficient. Two touchdowns in the first two series and a few punts. They got another touchdown. Most of the work on the ground for Texas Southern. Wilson, 7 of 14 through the air for 92 yards. His longest pass was 33 yards. He was sacked once. Owens has 112 yards on the ground on 10 carries. To Corey Howard, 7 carries, 73 yards, and 2 touchdowns. A little bit of a blitz that time from Lincoln. It's dumped off to this left sideline. Three Lincoln defenders awaiting Ladarius Owens for a short game. Well, I think at halftime they said, look, find number 22, find number 23. Whoever's on the field in the backfield, just rally to the football and make sure you don't let those guys get additional yardage after the catch. Hurry up offense throughout here for Texas Southern. Second and seven. Flipped it out on the sweep. And good coverage. Much better defense. The last few possessions defensively for Lincoln. Yeah, that was a great play. Looks like Jordan Dixon coming up from his linebacker position from Oceanside, California. And it's going to be a third down now for TSU. So far this afternoon, three of five on third downs, and there's going to be a penalty. He jumped offside, much to the defensive coordinator's chagrin. You could see him jumping up and down in frustration. They had him at third and five, but they jump offside. A 
it's William England. The previous play was the sweep for Quay Davis. Again, you mentioned the drop in the first half, and they wanted to get a dump off or something, a screen pass. They went with the sweep. Now they go back to the ground. On third and one, he picked up the yard, but a completely different field now for Lincoln defensively. They're starting to earn more respect at the line of, at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, you see Owens coming out of the ball game now, a little shaken up. And, you know, Coach McKinney talked about the physicality of this Lincoln ball team. Texas Southern lost a couple of players in this game last year for the rest of the season due to injuries. So, even though this is a small team, they play very physical football at the point of attack. And I, I think what the adjustment looks like to me, Ken, is they're just stacked in the box with nothing downfield, mostly today from Jace Wilson. They're putting everything close to the line of scrimmage, and there hasn't been much space to operate for Texas Southern here in the third quarter. Yeah, they're doing a nice job with good defensive adjustment at the half, and they'll rally into the football. Second and eight, handed off, will spin. Nice breaking of multiple tackles, brought down near the 20-yard line. Ja'Cory Howard, another tough run. Well, I don't know if you can put enough guys at the line of scrimmage to stop Ja'Cory Howard. I mean, he is a man amongst boys here this afternoon. Watch, they're going to have the initial penetration there, but again, just a nice spin move, sheds off a tackle there, and then getting to the second level and nearly picking up a first down. Jason Doddridge eventually makes the tackle to Berkeley, California native after three would-be tacklers could not bring down to Corey Howard. Another injury timeout on the field. As the injured Oaklander walking off. Marquise Lawson Greenwood. Tiger cheerleaders enjoying homecoming festivities. First and ten Tigers from just past the 20 yard line. Not working again. We see tons of white shirts around the line of scrimmage. A good adjustment at halftime from Lincoln University. Yeah, again, trying to get Quay Davis involved. Second time we've seen them on an on an end around, and both times the Lincoln defense has been there. This time it's going to result in a loss on the play. Loss of two, second and twelve from the twenty-five. Another blitz. He eludes it. Chase Wilson running to his left. Has an open man. Shy of a first down, but nice improvisation there from Chase Wilson. Again, he does not make a mistake. He doesn't force anything. And in the end, he finds you and means. Great escapability, great patience by Wilson. Rolling to his left, throwing back across his body, but a nice, easy throw to Means. Nice cut up field. He'll be into the end zone. Another touchdown run. Ja'Cory Howard, his third touchdown carry today. For Howard, just too big, just too strong for this Lincoln defense to handle. He's the one TSU Tiger that's been great so far today, along with Owens in the backfield. And again, just running through defenders into the end zone, standing up as TSU extends their lead now. And this one may be coming back, I guess. Ah, there was yellow on the green. Let's see what the penalty was. Saw Hemp Hill with his hands in the air. I'm not sure if the penalty was against him or not, but that's going to wipe out another touchdown run for the Tigers. Yeah, holding was the call. They're getting a 15-yard touchdown run. Now a third down play. Scampering for the first down and into the end zone. Wide open there for Jace Wilson. 
A big third down play after the holding call. Wilson carries it in. It's a fourth rushing score today for the TSU Tigers. We'll take off the score for Ja'Cory Howard. And Jace Wilson gets it from 10 yards further, 25 yards on the QB scamper. As they caught Lincoln in man-to-man -man defense, no spy on Wilson, and he gets into the end zone on the ground for the score. And TSU will extend their lead out to 21 points once again. First touchdown rushing for Wilson this season. A good start to the third for Texas Southern. They've stretched the lead to 21 points here at Durley Stadium at homecoming 2023. For some, it's just the sound of ice hitting heavy-duty plastic. But for us, it's the signal calling us back to the light. And to Greg's house, because he just got a new grill. Connecting to Hot Jam's playlist. Welcome back, Bud Light legends. It's time to take summer by the coolers. This is Kevin Granger. I would like to personally invite you to come out and join the newly established TSU Athletic Directors Legends Club. Members of the TSU AD Legends Club will receive TSU Athletic Apparel, a championship ring from a select sport when applicable, season tickets for football, basketball, and the TSU relays. Special recognition at a home athletic event and much more. To join or for more information, visit tsusports.com or call 713-313-4355. yards, 3 minutes, 47 seconds off the clock, and Ken Morin ends with a 25-yard touchdown run from Chase Wilson. Well, Texas Southern has dominated on the ground today, averaging nearly 10 yards per carry, already 234 yards rushing for Texas Southern here this afternoon. Dominating performance by that offensive line. As you mentioned, the first touchdown, Ryan, been much of a running threat this season. 25 carries, 40 total yards in the first three games for Jace Wilson. And that time wasn't a design run. He simply made something out of nothing on a tough third down play. Yeah, recognized that it was man-to-man -man defense. Lincoln did not have a spy in the middle of the field. So it was nothing but green grass, and he was able to take off. And again, we talked about in the first half. Wilson doing an outstanding job in replacement of Andrew Body. As you see, another looks like Denzel Myers is going to have an early shower as he has been ejected from the ball game. See him walk into the locker room. A six-four defensive lineman from Fort Lauderdale. Off return there. I'm Shannon Jennis. From the nine yard line is where Lincoln University begins. Good look there at TJ Goodwin, six of nine in the first half, 60 yards. He was sacked four times by this TSU defense. Tigers jump offside, free play. Deep ball downfield, and it's caught just shy of midfield. A free play capitalized upon by Lincoln. 
And it's the man who was involved in that kick return, Shannon Jemis, with the catch. Big play, 40 yards, another flag down. <laughs> Yeah, we saw a 92 jump offside from that left defensive end position for Texas Southern. That was Gabe Smith, and that gave T.J. Goodwin a free play. He took advantage of it, recognized it, 40-yard completion. Shaman Jennis with the big catch. Back to the ground go the Islanders. Shaman Jennis previously played for Northwood University in Michigan and before that Alderson Brodus University and Frederick Maryland graduated from Tuscarora High School in 2019 second and seven for the Oaklanders and in motion for TJ Goodwin he looks that way he throws that way it's overthrown Way the intended target. Yeah, good one kind of rushed the throw that time, sailed it over the head of Way. Texas Southern had a defender over the top, waiting. Good one just a little off target that time. Third and seven, handoff. Breaks the first line of pressure, cuts inside, dives near a first down, about two yards short, but it looks like four down territory. A good run on third down from the touchdown man, Kibo Norfleet. Good penetration that time by the interior of that TSU defense. Forced the runner to bounce it outside. Good pursuit and they go for it on fourth down and another penalty marker has come down. This may be a false start against Lincoln. That was one of the keys to the game in our conversation with Clarence McKinney, head coach. He said minimize penalties, take care of the ball and create turnovers. They have minimized penalties on their own end. They've taken care of the ball yet to create turnovers, but that's more of a credit to Lincoln University and its quarterback, T.J. Goodwin. Both teams have really prioritized the ball today. Yeah, no turnovers on either end. It looks like the Oaklanders are going to go for it here on the plus side of the 50, fourth and eight, trailing by three scores. Another high snap. Bull rush. He eludes it and throws. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. Just really good defensive line play as he would not be deterred. Just pushing his man back. And look like David Walker, the redshirt freshman of the George Ranch High School, was just barreling his lineman back into the path of the quarterback, T.J. Goodwin. Wilson will bring the offense back on the field for Texas Southern. Wilson so far this afternoon, 11 of 18, 108 yards. No touchdowns, no picks for the young sophomore. Wilson from the shotgun. The drive begins at the 48-yard line. Good play fake, but it's deflected and nearly intercepted again. The line of scrimmage has shifted really in Lincoln University's favor in the second half. I've been very impressed with the adjustments that time. The first batted pass today, Elijah Lawson, the Hayward native just near Oakland. Now back to the ground. If you're Clarence McKinney, you're thinking, why do we even try to throw the ball today when we're going to have pay dirt almost every time we run the ball? No disrespect to Lincoln University. Well, they, again, they have to diversify their offense. You know, they have to prepare for the second half of SWAC play, and we're not just going to line up and run like this against teams in the SWAC. So, but you can do it this afternoon. 
take advantage of it. They now have over 230 rushing yards today on 26 attempts. Only 108 passing yards. So it's that challenge that you keep talking about, Ken. I think you're very smart to point it out. It's working today, but now they try a ball through the air. Good play fake, throw into the end zone, and it's incomplete. Great pass breakup on the back side from Lincoln. Jason Doddridge, the Berkeley native, went up there and knocked it away from the intended target, Quay Davis. Yeah, and again, good time in the pocket. Nice throw by Wilson. You want your receiver to go up and win that battle. The defender won that battle, getting up, knocking the football away. Dandridge against Quay Davis. Second and ten. Back to the ground. Six or seven for Ja'Cory Howard on that carry. 27 carries for over 260 yards. Texas Southern is averaging 10 yards per carry today. You know, we talked about Quay Davis you know, and them trying to get him involved in the offense. He's a transfer from Jackson State. Really good friends with Shadua Sanders, quarterback of Colorado. Obviously, they were teammates at Jackson the last couple of years. And when Coach Prime decided to go to Colorado, they decided to come here to TSU. That's a fighting tiger first down for Texas Southern. Uh, Davion Ford with the carry. TSU in the red zone now. First and 10 from the 16. Quick throw out to the left. Short gain on the pickup up that left sideline. Now Dylan Hamilton went to Klein Forest High School, just northwest of Houston. Hurry up offense continues for Texas Southern. It's the keeper. He throws it out to the left. Did he pass the line of scrimmage? I think he did not. It's a first down. Is it a touchdown? No, he's shy. But he really walked the line there before flipping it to the left. Yeah, I think if Wilson keeps it, he may score himself. There's no one in what it was. One defender there. But he kind of throws a lateral to Charlo. And Charlo steps out of bounds inside the five. Charlo, sophomore from Rich Point High School. Back to the ground. And he's just shy of the end zone. Bring up second down. That was Davion Ford again. Yeah, Ford, he wanted to get into the end zone. Rare carry for him. He's going to come out now on second and goal. Second and goal from the one. Whistle blows. Flag is thrown. So no flag. They're just going to replay the down. Looks like they'll snap it from the two. And that is another touchdown. He had his last negated. This one will count a third touchdown today for Ja'Cory Howard. Five rushing touchdowns this afternoon for Texas Southern. The TSU continue their dominance on the ground. Again, just running behind those big guys on the right side of that offensive line. Dennis Jones and Thomas Brown. An easy score for Howard as he walks it in for two. Ten carries, 94 yards, three touchdowns for Howard. Falcon Birds point after touchdown is up and good. Old fashioned football for Texas Southern. They have 271 yards on the ground. At homecoming 2023, and fittingly, number 23 has three touchdowns. All Tigers from Durley Stadium.
Anyone who's ever sold a home can tell you it is really hard and it's one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make. That's why who you work with matters. Together with Homelight, we take care of every detail from staging to showing to negotiating to closing. We've helped thousands of people sell faster and for the best price. It's a win-win. That purifying, clean feeling from a dental tool? Now at home with Oral-B. Because Round cleans better by surrounding each tooth for 100% cleaner teeth and healthier gums. It's a brush so advanced, it knows just what it takes to give you a purifying, clean feeling like you just left the dentist. Oral-B. Brush like a pro. For your most brilliant smile, Prest has you covered. <laughs> nice smile, Brad. Nice. Thanks. Crest 3D White. 100% more stain removal. Whiter teeth in three days. Like a million bucks. <laughs> the number one teeth whitening brand in America. Crest. And try Crest 3D White Strip's professional effects. It whitens like a $400 professional treatment. Plays 52 yards, three minutes and 10 seconds off the clock, culminating in another touchdown run. This one from just one yard out. Ja'Cory Howard, a mainstay last year, Ken Moore, no touchdowns for his three games. He has three touchdowns today on homecoming. Yeah, he's really broken out this afternoon. Had a tremendous ball game thus far. It's all celebrations on the home side right now for homecoming. And Ja'Cory Howard last year, five touchdowns. He had three in 2021, nine in his career before today. From the 10-yard line, the kick return begins. A flag comes in late after a decent return there. From Shaman Gems. Flag around the 20 yard line. <laughs> Holding against Lincoln University. That's going to be the ninth penalty of the afternoon against Lincoln. TSU has six infractions for 57 yards, so both teams, an area that they wanted to clean up coming into the ball game today, still struggles on both sides with just mental mistakes and physical errors in the infractions. Neither team with a turnover today, however, as they've taken care of the rock. And Devin Hooper, the Guilty party, slow snap, throw to the left. How surprised are you by the, the snaps today from Lincoln University? Yeah, it just seems like some concentration issues between the center and quarterback. A couple of snaps has ac actually been on target that Goodwin has bobbled. One turned into a touchdown uh, for them in the late in the second quarter. So I think just a little more concentration issues between those two. And T.J. Goodwin went to Sci Falls High School. He takes the snap. He looks down fields. He moves right. He's going for the big ball. And it's incomplete. Two intended receivers there. Now closest to it was Amir Reap. And near him was Shimon Gems once again. Yeah, good pressure initially by TSU. Goodwin able to move in the pocket to his right. Showing some paw and presence. Throw just slightly on the throne, however. Just 18 passing yards last week in Lamar. They're over 100 yards today. Something to build upon for the Oaklanders. T.J. Goodwin rolls to his right. He's looking that way. He's under pressure. And he's knocked out of bounds after a short gain.
That sets up third down. Make that fourth down and 10. Punt time for the Oaklanders. Best defensive series of the second half for Texas Southern there. Yeah, TSU putting together a couple of nice stands. They've forced two punts here in the second half. Also had a turnover on downs on their side of the 50-yard line on the previous possession. But now they flip field position, and they should come out with some good field position after this punt. However, Lincoln has had some good punts here this afternoon. Uh, Stephen Ernest has been excellent in the kicking game today. Looks like we may have some technical difficulties here at the stadium. Under two minutes left in the third quarter, Texas Southern with five rushing touchdowns. Three of those from Ja'Cory Howard have a commanding 35-7 lead. Similar score as last year, a 37-2 victory over Lincoln University at homecoming 2022. We'll take a break from Durley Stadium. All Tigers on homecoming. This letter is for you. From what I hear, you're supposed to be the next Tom Brady. You're not the next Tom Brady. You're the next you. Compare yourself to nobody but the kid in the mirror. The one who knows that who you are today is just a piece of who you're going to become. Sincerely, Tom. You wrote this. Yeah. Medical Center. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week to treat adults and kids. A board certified emergency medicine physician will see you quickly after your arrival. With our state of the art equipment and on site certified lab, Ascent ER quickly detects medical problems in adults, kids, and pregnant women. Be treated quickly at Ascent Emergency Medical Center located at Holcomb and Almeida. Durley Stadium on the campus of Texas Southern University. Matt Peterson with former Texas running back Ken Warren. A running back performance that would make you proud. Ten carries, three of those. Much per carry for Howard. And again, he's just been a man among boys, especially once he gets to the second level, using his size and strength. 6'1", 224-pound senior. After the punt. A handoff up the middle. They stay with the run game, approaching 300 total yards on the ground this afternoon. The Tigers, yeah, they're giving more and more carries here in the second half to Davion Ford. Yeah, Ford, a 5'8 junior from the Houston area, went to Notre Dame College. First fumble of the day, it spills out. Really good hit there. Against Quay Davis as he caught this ball in the flat. Yeah, a little play action. Quay, again, trying to get him the football in space and trying to get him to hold on to the rock. They might have to call Fred Belitnikoff, get some of that stickum that the Raiders used to wear back in the 70s. <laughs> Handoff up the middle. He bounces outside. And he picks up about five yards. Again, Davion Ford is the man in the third quarter, carrying the ball, getting more and more carries. A 32 rushing attempt today for Texas Southern. Davion Ford came into the season, 12 carries for 33 yards. So he'll come out now and... Uh, four carries for 15 yards this afternoon. Jonathan Lewis from Klein High School. Excuse me, from Klein, Texas, from 
We'll check in. Handoff right side. He's got daylight to the end zone and in. You just mentioned his name, the transfer from Southern Arkansas. First play on the field, and he has a long touchdown. <laughs> and you know what? Davion Ford is on the sideline like, why did I come out of the game on that play? Is It's a wide open hole over the right side. And Jonathan Lewis... It's all about timing in life. It's all about timing, right place, right time. He came into the ball game, wide open hole, right side. And Texas Southern, once again, another touchdown on the ground. 23 is the key number today. It's the year 2023, and number 23 has three touchdowns. And now a 23-yard touchdown for Jonathan Lewis. A 41-7 after the touchdown with that 42-7 after the PAT and again six rushing touchdowns as you see the very quick scoring drive for the Tigers four plays 40 yards and a minute 41 they had a good field position Ken Moore after the punt and they capitalized and you see Andrew Body on the sideline, the star quarterback, over 4,000 career passing yards at TSU and announced on social media this week that he will take a red shirt this season after re aggravating injury suffered at the end of last season. Yeah, absolutely. Big blow to this TSU program, not having Body for the rest of the season, but you hope that you will have him for years to come as he's going to take the next year, rehab that shoulder, get it better and stronger than ever. And he's a vital part, not only to this TSU program, but to the entire campus uh, here at Texas Southern University. And they definitely hope to have him back for 2024. And Jonathan Lewis, by the way, his touchdown run, his first touchdown of the season, it comes from 23 yards on his first carry of the day. And Lincoln will start its next possession at the nine-yard line. An opportunity now for a lot of guys down the depth chart to get some playing time for Coach McKinney, get some film on tape, and allow those guys an opportunity to play. So we'll be digging deep into the roster here as this game continues. Only 10 seconds to go here in the third period. It looks like they're going to be backed up once again. It's been very poor field position in this second half for Lincoln. This drive will start at their five. This will be the worst field position of the afternoon. Goodwin hands it off. Way bounces outside. Nice pickup. He has a first down. Some sloppy tackling there from Texas Southern. Nice gain from Way. Otis Way, the Minneapolis native. First down carry, and that brings an end to the third quarter. A dominant third quarter, the best today for Texas Southern. Three more rushing touchdowns. They outscore Lincoln 21-0. And after three quarters on homecoming, it's a 42-7 lead for the Texas Southern Tigers. We need a small business loan fast. I got this. Loan Falcon! <laughs> There's a better way to get a fast small business loan. Go to ondeck.com, and if approved, get your funds as soon as the same day. Your loan is on deck. At Domino's, our newest stuffed cheesy bread is loaded with pepperoni. Frankly, we're kind of embarrassed we didn't think of adding pepperoni sooner. But better late than never? Try irresistible new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread. It's the perfect mouth-watering side for pepperoni lovers. Only at Domino's. Since the dawn of man, getting help has been hard. Whether it's for ED, hair loss, or your mental health. Through Hims, getting help is simple. It all starts with one small click for you. And you. And you. That can change everything for future you. That's healthcare as it should be. Click now. Thank yourself later. Get started at 4 Scared of a little blood? Dr. Garcia? Whoa! Crest Reality Checkup. 
Bleeding gums are serious, Jamie. I must be brushing too hard. No, it's actually a sign of bacterial infection, one that could spread to other parts of the body. Check this out. Unlike other toothpastes, Crest Gum Detoxify's antibacterial fluoride works below the gum line to help heal gums and stop bleeding. Crest saves the day, huh? No reason to fear. The number one toothpaste brand in America, Crest. We start the fourth quarter from Derby Stadium at Peterson with the former Texas running back, Ken Moore. 42-7 Tigers. T.J. Goodwin played college or high school football down the road at Cy Falls. He stays in the quarterback and he heads it off on first down. Wade has really well eluding two tacklers. He's hurdling for a first down and a 15-yard pickup. Say what you want about Lincoln, but Otis Way has given a full 100% effort today. Otis Way <laughs> all day. <laughs> Again, just running through Texas Southern tacklers. Ran through an arm tackle there of Canary Simmons, the safety. As you mentioned, picked up a nice 14-yard gain on a first down. 113 yards on the ground today for Otis Way. They go back to Way. He's brought down by three Tiger defenders. Now, he's gained over 100 yards, but his teammates have combined for just over 30 yards additionally on the ground. I think for Lincoln, they just lack that big play potential. Through the air, 101 total yards. Their longest play, 41 yards. That was that broken play down the left sideline that set up their only touchdown. Looks like an injured player for Lincoln. He's back to his feet. It's Willie Canty, the South Bay, Florida native. Yeah, it looked like it may have just been cramp. But he'll come out for at least one play. And again, a very warm afternoon here at Durley Stadium. Temperatures in the low 90s. Yeah, it's one of those where it's an early afternoon kickoff. It almost gets hotter as the, gate, as the yes, day goes along. Absolutely. You don't get a reprieve yeah. from the weather. The sun might be setting just a bit, but it's a hot afternoon in Space City. Second down and eight. They put a man in motion. Throwing to him and incomplete. That's kind of been one of the tells for me. The man in motion is oftentimes the target for Lincoln University today. That time it was Tariq Phillips. Yeah, Phillips made that big catch, you know, on the broken play, and he drops the easy pass there from Goodwin. Which is a little bit sloppy at times from Lincoln University. Down 42-7 here on the road. Third down and eight for the Oaklanders. Two left, two right, one in the backfield for T.J. Goodwin. Clean pocket for Goodwin. Dumps it over the middle. Nice elusiveness for a first down. Nice play design there for Lincoln. First down pick up from Shaman Jens. A nice reception there. Nice moves on the open field by Jens. Second catch today for Jens. He has 52 yards, two big plays. He had the 41-yard catch, and that catch, he's now the leading receiver with only two catches today, leading receiver in terms of total yards. So momentum now for Lincoln, three wide to the right, one to the left. Man in motion again. They hand it off back the other way. He waits for the hole. Good running back play there as he let the hole develop and took advantage. It's Kibo Norfleet who had the touchdown run at the end of the first half for Lincoln. Yeah, nice patience by Norfleet. Just a little misdirection in the backfield. Allowed the line to open that hole and uh, picks up a nice first down. Looks like a wrestling belt supporting his lower back. Another player down for Lincoln. You can see they shade the player's eyes with the sun bearing down on the injured man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right at that midfield TSU logo. And they've really done a nice job here with the turf here at Durley Stadium. Got the nice logo in the middle of the field. That's new. And a lot of improvements. And of course, they want a lot of talk about trying to... to 
build a better on-campus facility for football here at TSU. Because most of their games, home games, are played over at the uh, Dynamo Stadium. Shell Energy Stadium just up the street. Southern off to a good start in Arkansas. A 10-0 lead first quarter. And Southern looking to start 2-0 in swap play. And a slew of games later this evening, Cat. Three on tap starting at 5 o'clock Central. All corns at Alabama State. Florida A&M trying to stay perfect at Mississippi Valley. A Prairie View A&M will host Scrambling. Yeah, that game will be in Dallas at State Fair. Two left, two right. They throw out to the right. A nice work upfield, a first down and more. Some hesitant tackling in the secondary there from TSU. And it's that man again, Kibo Norfleet. He's had a nice day today. Yeah, did a nice job kind of tiptoeing the sideline. Good block on the outside by one of his outside receivers. And just kind of stays in bounds. Nice job. Looks like we're going to have another timeout on the field. This drive began way back inside the 10-yard line. Currently six plays, 48 yards. One of the most impressive today. Again, they've had no fumbles, no snap issues. We don't want to belabor the point, but that was a huge problem in the first half. Simply the connection from the center to the quarterback. There's been clean snaps and maybe... As a result, the best drive today for Lincoln. Yeah, TSU is putting in some of their second and third stringers as well on defense. DJ Goodwin. Blitz comes. Goodwin to the corner. A little push in front of the referee, and a flag does come in. A fairly obvious defensive pass interference there. Intended target there was Tariq Phillips. Yeah, easy call for the official. You'll see it from ground level, one-on-one, -on -one, and there's the contact initiated by the defender. It was Xavier Goins, junior out of Fort Worth. Signal to look again. All right, so it looks like they may have picked up the penalty marker. I mean, clear pass interference there. Not sure what the official stated. Let's see where they marked the football. T.J. Goodwin looking to the sideline, trying to get the play in from his staff. Ball is marked at the 20. Second down. So, no pass interference. A second down is the call. From the shotgun, he'll look that way. He is blitzed. He throws it. You know, Aaron throw that time. One of the rare blitzes today from Texas Southern. The intended target again was Tariq Phillips. So on that previous play, the flag came in from the back judge who's positioned underneath the goalpost. The field judge who was closest to the play did not throw a penalty marker. So perhaps they had a conversation and decided that it was not pass interference. Maybe they thought Tariq kind of initiated the contact. He kind of leans into the defender, Goins, but I agree with you. I thought that's a clear pass interference call. Third down from the 20. Fake of a handoff. Throwing oh. slightly high. He was slightly. wide open in the end zone. <laughs> That's an understatement. As the intended target was Shimon Jens. Uh, breakdown in the secondary, but Lincoln cannot capitalize. Yeah, and Goodwin really wants to have that one back as he airmailed it over the uh, wide open receiver. Did not have a tiger in the picture.
Fourth down. Man down for Lincoln University. Uh, he was just downfield. And now after he attempted to make that catch, he is down on the ground to Chamon Gems. You see a lot of players succumbing to the heat here in Texas. Off to Florida, Bethune-Cookman next, uh, two weeks from now. So a bye next week, two weeks from now, Bethune-Cookman, then Florida A&M, the showdown. Biggest game on the schedule, in your opinion, for TSU this season? Biggest home game for sure against Florida A&M. Maybe a big, big crowd over at Shell Energy for that one. Then they'll hit the road to Baton Rouge as they'll take on the Southern Jaguars. Then they'll continue to head east for a trip to Jackson, take on Jackson State, and then um, back home to close out the season against Alcorn and Arkansas Palm Bluff. So six conference games remain for TSU. Again, 0-2 in conference right now in the Western Division. If they can somehow find a way to pull off those wins against Southern and Alcorn, that will get them right back in the race, in the division. Fourth and ten from the 20-yard line for Lincoln University. Backing up. Good win. Under pressure. He will go down. A sack on fourth down for the Tigers. And that is really a disappointing end for Lincoln after a very impressive drive on a sequence they began around the five-yard line. Yeah, very nice drive by T.J. Goodwin and company to get the ball down to the 20-yard line. They thought they had a pass interference in the end zone. It was not called. And then on fourth down, he's unable to find an open receiver. He also, on a couple of plays ago, he had a wide open receiver in the end zone for a potential touchdown. So, Frustrating afternoon once again for the uh, Houston area native. They go 75 yards on that drive. I have nothing to show for it. It started on the five. They went down the field 10 plays, but could not convert on fourth down. And again, a questionable missed call, in my opinion. Looked like a clear pass interference. Maybe they'd say the offensive player initiated the contact to Reek Phillips. Uh, TSU capitalizes. They take over. The quarterback is in. It's headed off on the left side. It's into the game now. It's Jordan Davis, transfer from Marshall. He's another freshman from Missouri City. His first snaps today. Yeah, went to high school at Fort Bend Marshall. Very good program over at Marshall High School. They typically make a lot of trips to the uh, state playoffs. Jordan Davis, freshman quarterback, is in. Continues to hand it off. Short gain there on third and three. He did not get the first down. A legal substitution against Lincoln University. The first there we see Jordan Davis had one completion at Toledo, had one snap against Rice, his completion. He ran the ball quite a bit against Toledo. Throws it out to the right here. Has a man. Nice pickup out near midfield. Vivian Four continues his impressive second half. Yeah, last year at Fort Bend Marshall High School led them to a berth in the state playoffs, did Davis. You see a nice throw there. Wide open, tiptoeing down the sideline for the touchdown. It's Tavares AK. Touchdown, Tigers. Their seventh TD today. 
Well, great job. Watch Davis in the pocket. A little play fake. Pump fakes. Just a little screen pass. Great blocking downfield. And there's no one from Lincoln in the picture. Easy score for A Chain. 6'3, 200 pounds senior out of Louisiana. TSU piling it on here in the fourth. First touchdown of the season, second career touchdown for Tavares H. and the Jennings, Louisiana native. All Tigers, five or six touchdowns on the ground. Their first passing touchdown today. And it's brought into the end zone by Tavares H. Chain. Homecoming 2023, all Tigers from Durley Stadium. for the Tigers in 2022 to late September homecoming this afternoon and you see a couple of staff members go down here on the TSU sideline after that kickoff return hopefully everyone's all right over here on the home side get a little attention there from the training staff looks like there may be another penalty marker down this crew has been very busy this afternoon there may be the block there that got the penalty staff member down did seem to be a bit of a late hit from texas southern he was a few yards out of bounds before the contact was made Tavares A-Chain, by the way, longest reception of his career. Previous long 18 yards back in 2021. The 25th catch of his career is the longest. Goes for 51 yards and a touchdown. His second career TD. And a total of 16 penalties here this afternoon between the two ball clubs. Lincoln 10 for 65. Texas Southern 6 penalties for 57 yards. No penalties for TSU so far here in the second half. Still haven't got an official word on the discussion here. Officials obviously do not have any homecoming plans this afternoon. <laughs> they are taking their sweet time, and they're going to down the football here at 30-yard line. All right, let's start a complacent game. Keeper this time. And a new quarterback into the game for Lincoln University. It's Kobe Barnes from Tolleson, Arizona. Gets his first snap today. Sometimes you just got to give a guy a break. And for TJ Goodwin, he ran his race today. Yeah, absolutely. Got a chance to come back home, play at home. Um, he's 
was here last week to play in Lamar down in Beaumont. He's got a chance to play here in his own backyard. Some friends and family in town. He had a decent afternoon. The good one for Lincoln. Complete and finishes tonight. 10 of 20, 139 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. He was sacked five times. But a much better performance than he had last week against Lamar. So he continues to get better and better, the Sawfalls product. Third and 15 for Corey Barnes, the new quarterback. Throwing to the left, incomplete. Almost picked off, diving attempt that time. Nick Cotton from his safety position, graduate student from Detroit. A Barnes, a multi-sport star in high school, track and field, basketball. Uh, a quarterback and defensive back. Also in high school in Arizona. As you mentioned, it'll be a bye week for Texas Southern next week. And we'll hop right back to the sweat play. Team out for Lincoln University. I punt. From Ernest. Bounces around the 45. Right back towards TSU. You have to be alert for that. And it's well covered that time on a very tough bounce. Charlo over that one well. Bridge point products. Midway through the fourth quarter, all Tigers. A 49-7 lead on homecoming 2023. Everything you've seen me do was made possible by what you don't see. Because when you're not looking, I go to work. Strength isn't a given. It's grown. It's earned and tested. We all have the strength to see what's possible. It's up to us to unlock it. Tonal, be your strongest. Since the dawn of man, getting help has been hard. Whether it's for ED, hair loss, or your mental health. Through Hims, getting help is simple. It all starts with one small click for you. And you. And you. That can change everything for future you. That's healthcare, as it should be. Click now. Thank yourself later. Get started at 4 How white do you think your teeth really are? Let's try the tissue test. Oh, still yellow. Obviously, whitening toothpaste can only do so much. That's because there's toothpaste white and there's Crest 3D White Strips white. Whitening toothpaste only works on the surface, but Crest 3D White Strips safely work below the enamel surface, whitening like a $400 professional treatment. So much whiter. The number one teeth whitening brand in America, Crest. And try Crest Whitening Emulsions for daily whitening with virtually no sensitivity. Seven, under eight minutes left in the fourth. A little sweep here on this sideline. Nice run. He breaks a tackle inside the 30. And a good start to this series for Texas Southern. Big carry for Kerry and Charlo. Yeah, a little end around to Charlo. He wanted to take it to the house. You see him there. <laughs> he had one defender to beat. Right now, for these guys getting into the ball game, if they're touching the rock, they want to get into the box score. <laughs> they want to get into the end zone. And we're going to have another timeout here. Second series to Jordan Davis as the quarterback. He stays in after a good first drive and a touchdown throw. 51-yard touchdown. We were talking a little bit about Jordan Davis before the break. Went to Fort Bend Marshall High School. His senior year led them deep into the playoffs. Got to the fourth round of the state playoffs. 
He passed for over 2,500 yards as a senior. 29 touchdowns, only four interceptions. So he definitely has a bright future here at Texas Southern as the QB of the future. Yeah, while playing track and field and basketball at the same time. From the shotgun, fakes the handoff, he keeps it. Wrestle down. Physicality continues for Lincoln. They think they have a strip late. But that play is whistled dead. Darion Sammers. Uh, he had made the play on the strip. Instead, it's second down forthcoming here for Texas Southern. Yeah, we talked about the size of Chase Wilson, at least Coach McKinney did in our you know, pregame meeting, talked about his limitations was being a 5'10", 5'11", quarterback. But Jordan Davis is only 5'8". <laughs> yeah, he feels like the clear dual threat type. He's going to have to do some things with his feet to have the most success possible at the college level. Jacob Washington getting a chance to tote the rock. Freshman out of Shadow Creek High School here in the uh, Houston area. South side of town. Freshman running back. Three right. One left. High snap. Good fake. Mm. And it's knocked out. He's 5'8", but he's got quick mechanics. He's very quick with his fake handoffs. Gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Aaron Powell, the intended receiver, in and out of his hands. So even the backups, unfortunately, can't hang up to the rock. He's only 5'7", so you got a 5'8 guy throwing to a 5'7 guy. The vision somewhat impaired by those big guys up front. So makes it very difficult to see, not only for the quarterback, but for the receiver as well. Because you're looking back and you got 6'5", six, 6'4", six linemen. A field goal attempt is up, and it's good. First field goal today from Texas Southern. 52-7 Tigers under six minutes left. As Christian Avalar hits the 38-yard field goal. All Tigers at homecoming. We have a problem. We're the new all-star team. I'm Rob G. The General. I'm Amir Diamond. I'm Michelle McKnight. And we are bringing you the best of Houston's culture in hip-hop, R&B, and neo-soul. Catch the all-new vibe, your free community streaming station. Vibe out anytime in H-Town, Sugarland, Pearland, Katy, Midtown, Humble, The Woodlands. Anywhere in the city, state, or country by downloading the Vibe app directly to your smartphones. The Vibe, powered by KTSU 90.9 FM. <laughs> Houston, Texas. TSU is really the land of opportunity. I have expanded my network with career services, been a huge help. Everyone here has your best interests. It's a supportive environment for the faculty. On behalf of the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and TSU family, go Tigers! <laughs> Coming 2023 from Derby Stadium. Peterson with the former Texas running back, Ken Moore. 52-7. The Tigers over the Oaklanders. After the field goal, 38-yarder. And kick off here. Bounce sideways and out of bounds around the 27-yard line. The dominant performance so far this afternoon by Texas Southern, 540 yards of total offense, 238 
by Lincoln. 348 yards on the ground for the Tigers this afternoon. And this is the type of running attack they want to be able to take into slack play in two weeks when they travel to Daytona Beach to battle Bethune Cookman. Lincoln starts its series from the 28 yard line. Good fake, low throw, incomplete. Good coverage out of the secondary. Now Brandon Candela getting the snaps. He's a 6 1 quarterback from Costa Mesa, California. His first series. And good coverage out of the secondary. DeMarcus Hall. Senior from San Marcos, Texas. Of course, it was a rough start for TSU to begin the year. Had a tough opening loss at home to Prairie View. A game that they led most of the way. Had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Ended up losing that ball game 37-34. And, you know, Coach McKay said that just really took a lot of heart out of this ball club. And then they went on the road for a couple of ball games against non-conference teams and FBS in Toledo and Rice. Got back in the conference play last week. Did TSU went up to Grambling, fought hard against the Tigers but lost that game 35-23, so this one will be a really much welcome victory, especially going into the bye week. Uh, Canella, a transfer from Orange Coast College, where he played last season, was the starting quarterback out of Huntington Beach High School. Put team on. As Canella goes to the bench. Busy day for Stephen Ernest, the punter. Handles kickoffs, field goals, and punting. Busy, busy ball games for Stephen Ernest. They're caught around the 30-yard line. And Carrie and Charlo makes the fair catch. Now time for our player of the game. Pretty easy choice for you, Ken Moore. Yeah, definitely to Corey Howard. 10 carries, 94 yards, three touchdowns on the afternoon, averaging over nine yards per carry. And you see the ease with which he ran through this Lincoln University defense this afternoon. His first three scores of the season for the senior. And he is our player of the game. First three touchdowns of the season. He had five last year. A homecoming 2023. Three touchdowns for number 23 for Texas Southern. Approaching four minutes left. And off, he'll bumble his way past the 40 and into Lincoln University territory. They continue to go deeper into the roster. It's the freshman out of Shadow Creek, Jacob Washington. Again, these runners, when they get the football, they have visions on the end zone. They want to get into the stat sheet, into the record book. A couple of updates on scores from around the SWAC this afternoon. Alabama and m celebrating homecoming as well this afternoon. They have a 58-3 lead on Tuskegee. SWAC matchup in Arkansas Southern with a 16-zip lead over Arkansas Pine Bluff. Southern 1-0 in SWAC play. Arkansas Pine Bluff 0-1. The flag negated the last big carry, so they resume play around the 25-yard line. And another ball carrier for Texas Southern. They're keeping in Titus from Dallas at a South Oak Cliff High School as a redshirt sophomore. All corn in Alabama State. In a 
East Division matchup. Both teams 0-1 in SWAC play, looking for their first wins of the season. They are scoreless. Nine minutes to go in the first quarter. And two more games later this evening, Florida A&M will be at Mississippi Valley State in Grambling. We'll take on Prairie View in their annual matchup at the State Fair in Dallas. And back to the ground, Jonathan Lewis, sophomore from Klein, Texas. Sets up third and ten. Six touchdowns on the ground, one through the air for Texas Southern. Tavares, eight chain, the lone Touchdown catch, a catch and run of 51 yards. Under pressure, he eludes the pressure, stays on his feet, looks downfield, and he's wrestled down at the 30-yard line. Good pursuit from Lincoln University. They send multiple players to the ball, and ultimately with the tackle, Marquis Lawson Greenwood, the six-foot-six defensive lineman from Philadelphia. Again, of course, coming up later tonight, here on AT&T Sports, a big one in the desert. Baseball showdown, the Astros trying to fight their way into the playoffs. They will take on the Arizona Diamondbacks tonight here at 7 o'clock on AT&T. So don't stray too far away from your sets this afternoon. You can go get some lunch or dinner and then come right back and check out the Astros tonight as they will take on Arizona. Two games left in the uh, baseball season, and the Astros trying to fight their way in. So a lot going on here on AT&T here on a Saturday. All they need is one win. One win tonight or tomorrow would be enough based off of what Seattle and Texas have playing one another. Arizona has things to fight for, and a game and a half lead for themselves in the National League wild card chase. Fun time of year, isn't it? Great time of year. College football, baseball playoffs about to crank up. Pennant races, which we're really not used to here in Houston. is normally wrapped up by now. So. And the fact that there's no... The tiebreakers matter. It's not as if you tie at the end of the season, you get one more game to decide it. That regular season series is the difference, and that's yeah. why... The Astros with the win tonight or tomorrow will be back in the postseason trying to defend their World Series crown from a season ago. 366 rushing yards on 41 attempts for Texas Southern today. A fourth and ten. Punt team on for the Tigers. Whoa. Out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Warren actually over here on the near sideline as an Oaklander got tangled up and fell into the TSU bench. It's Isaiah Robinson, safety from Los Angeles. No jousting on that time with Xavier Goins. Coach McKinney and his squad will go for... Go to one and four on the season. One final drive here. And the former Orange Coast College quarterback. Brandon Canella is in the game from the shotgun. High snap. He hands off. And minimal gain. The ball carrier, D.J. Turner, the 6-1 running back from Bellflower, California. Six to seven this afternoon. Leading in the sack department was Jacob Williams. As he adds to his team leading total on the season. Yeah, he had back-to-back -back sacks in that first half on back-to-back -back plays. Now has five sacks on the year to perform a walk-on. Coach McKinney talked about his walk-on program. He has about six or seven guys that have walked on and earned scholarships. Well, a throw from Canella handled there. 
minimal gain. Might be the final play of this game. He said he makes it clear to all the walk-ons, if you're good, if you're one of the best of your position, you will get a scholarship. And he's proven that point six or seven times, as you mentioned. Looks like that's going to be the final play, partner. Looks like TSU is going to celebrate homecoming for the second year in a row with the victory. A decisive win last year, 37 to 2. There'll be one final play here for the Oaklanders. Canella errors it out on his left sideline and is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. And a happy homecoming for the Tigers. They get their first win of 2023. And a sigh of relief for Clarence McKinney and his coaching staff. Yeah, 568 yards of total offense for TSU this afternoon. Holding Lincoln to only seven points in this ball game. Decisive 52-7 victory for Texas Southern and Coach Clarence McKinney. And he and his good friend, Coach Desmond Dunks of Lincoln University in Oakland. Again, he's trying to build a program out there in California. Former Bay Area High School coach. And he and Coach McKinney sharing some pleasant streets there at the Three touchdowns for Ja'Cory Howard, his first three of the season. Ken Moore, quick thought on how TSU can build upon this for the rest of the season. Well, again, they got to continue to work on that passing game, get sound there. The running game seems to be in check. The defense was outstanding here this afternoon. They just have to put it all together, play with confidence. Six conference games to go. They have an opportunity to make it interesting down the stretch. Homecoming 2023, six rushing touchdowns, one through the air, three for Ja'Cory Howard, his first three of the season, and a 52-7 homecoming win for Ken Moore and our entire crew. Matt Peterson saying so long from Durley Stadium. Homecoming 2023, a decisive win for Texas Southern. They beat Lincoln University 52-7. to seven.